live, but it hasn't gone live yet. And now it's gone live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're here with Kama. And we're back with the AI Somnium Files a few weeks after the last stream. Because I was in Japan. Japan was good. Ah! I'm listening to myself on the desktop. Okay, at least I know that it's working. Japan was pretty good, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, we got up to a lot. We explored Disneyland. We stayed at the Disney Hotel. We stayed at Toy Story Hotel. We stayed at Miracosta Hotel. Thankfully, there were no foreigners there at the time, so we managed to smash out Disneyland within five hours. We went in at 5 p.m. and we were on all the rides by 10 p.m. Uh, and then the next day we went to Disney Sea. And then after that, we went to Hachon's hometown and just ate all of the things. But now back to AI Somnium Files after last time getting <laughs> the shitty ending. The really, really shitty ending that I didn't like. I, Gen, Gen deserved a lot better. A lot better. Gen deserved a lot better. Uh, Alright. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Thankfully, we get these little nice recaps at the beginning, which helps jog all my memory. You think an ex-con doesn't deserve to be happy? Who is this? The SAT. The special assault team. Date? That body. My father found it. Date! <laughs> Worst ending. Worst ending. And then you also get the nice song at the end. But you get it with such a... Oh my god. Oh, God! Why am I here? I thought I finished this. I... Yes, this is the song that I was talking about. What do you want, little Tamagotchi? Can't you see? Can't you see? What do you want? What pet do you want in your pond? Uh... I don't know what any of those are, but I'm gonna go with a Japanese salamander. Apparently that makes me impish. It's special natural monument. You couldn't own one. Damn. Ah. Check achievements. I'm not getting out of the game. I'm pretty sure I just have to hop out. I'm pretty sure I hopped back in. Yeah, see, we did this. Yeah, we did this. Ken passes away as he tells her mama how grateful he is to her. Yeah, we've done this. Uh, which I believe unlocks this one if we do the different ending. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Did I go for the gold safe or the silver safe? I don't remember. I don't remember. If someone can remind me, I would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. Hidden eyeballs, 0 out of 5. Wow. Wow. I didn't find any eyeballs. Jesus, I suck. Proceed. Silver safe was again, so I guess I have to go for the gold one. Oh my god, does anyone actually remember the password? If someone remembers the password, I think we could just blitz this thing. We could just run to the end, can't we? Because half the difficulty is figuring out the password. Eyebar, boom. Defying gravity. I can tell you if you want. Sure, thank you. Let's see if I can just go straight to the end. Soda can is four. Final lock is five. Openly and safe. So I think I have to go to like the first one. The first one is... Uh, where was the first thing? It like flew away. Oh yeah, it was this song. So good. Um, I have a map, right? I can't remember the map key. Yes, I remember this song. X's map. Alright, so Iowa was there. This was like the final one. Uh, blue. The door. Alfrey. Lead safe. First you grab the lockpick in front of you. There's a lockpick? Can I become a channel member? Of course you can! Of course you can! I need my permission. Do as you please. But I will say one thing. 
you might get more out of Patreon because you can watch all the anime and TV show reactions. So you might want to consider that instead of YouTube memberships. Just because YouTube memberships don't have any perks outside of the um, emo uh, emotes that you get on the stream. But if that's what you're after, there is also Twitch, which does have some VODs. So I highly recommend you check that out. What's this? Cool. We pick up the key. And I'm guessing we go to the safe. Which is to our right. Or is it the door? Go to the safe. That's an L3. There's the safe. It appears to be a standard set. There is something. Can you open it? No. Got it. Ma uh, pick open, I guess. Bam! All of the honey. And when you don't do this for a couple of weeks, you just forget. Now then, that safe kind of went. So now the real question becomes the next step. The copper safe is there. The door is there. Blue bucket's there. Alfre is there. Inspect is there. I don't think the inspect has to do anything. I wonder if the blue bucket does anything, I don't remember. Oh, this was like a combination safe. Man, I can't remember the combination. Another safe came out. There is a keyhole and a keypad for inputting a code. It looks like we need a- So this needs a key- I am guessing it will- So the safe only- Do you remember the code? Hmm, I don't know the code. 08090708. Oh, yeah, all these ones. 08, thank you. 09, 07, 08. Thank you, kind sirs. Let's just try this number. Huh? What? It opened? There are 10 million different combinations. How did you know? Morphogenic field. <laughs> It was an educated guess based on logical theory. That sounds wrong, but you are strangely persuasive. I'm a genius. My intuition scares me. All right, now the real question becomes, what is the next one? Yay. Open the silver safe. This... I think this is the one that works with um, the message. What's that paper? So you need to know like what we need him to say. My princess and Kinsey's voice. Yes, Kizzy's, Kizzy's, Kizzy's voice, Kizzy's voice. Cool. Right, Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Oh, plenty of time. This safe does not have a keyhole. How can we open? Uh, oh, no, not oh, what? Bit weird. I haven't tried any of these options. This is weird. It looks like a normal safe, but its composition is unknown. It is locked, but it has no keyhole. Something is definitely suspicious about it, but if we don't know how to open it, we can try checking other things first. Right. Yeah, I definitely need to start inspecting all the loader highs. All right. Um, yum, 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 yum. I guess I just inspect this one, starting with nice and low. A picture of Ganesha. Cool. And the next one. Oh, it's a different safe. Might have gone to the wrong safe. It's a silver safe, though. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. An unopened safe. Open the voice. Uh, kisses. And what should I say? Uh, my 
Prince. Huh. Makes me wonder what to say from the top is. What would Leon want to hear? I know. Say, my prince. My prince! It opened. How did you know? Morphogenic field. Leon is just that easy to read. Leon is a basic B. Okay, cool. <laughs> Time for the gold safe. Alright. Gold safe. I, I think the like the hint ended up being you go to Alfred or something. For now, I have to go to the radio cassette. This. I think I pressed play last time. No, 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 no! Why are you dancing, Iva? I don't know. Dancing is fun because we can all do it together. I can comment on that, but it would be inappropriate. Well, okay. Two safes came out. Time for the gold one. You have four minutes remaining. Fine. There's like record time for this. And from here, it should all be new. No, not another song. No, 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 no. That was beautiful. Kizzy's dance cleansed my heart. Kizzy, I became a locksmith. I'm gonna work a clean and honest job. I'll wait however long I need to. My feelings won't change. Well, at least he has gainful employment, and he would make a very good locksmith because he knows all about locks. This time it's a memory with Kizuna. Leon has been faithful to Kizzy for a long time. What the hell? This is a... stack of cash? Oh yeah, the bribe. The one he threw away. That he could have donated to the children's hospital. This is from Richie G. Leon, I cannot be with you anymore. That is what I mean. Goodbye. Why? Wait, Kizzy! I'm not worthy of her. I couldn't protect her back then. This is what we saw in the Wink Sink. The explosion from six years ago. Well, that's not his fault. He's really regretting it. It wasn't even his fault. I'm trash. I can't fly. I don't deserve to live. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Rubble falling from above! It must be linked to Leon's mental state! Mizuki, we need to do something for him! Quickly! Ah! Uh. What's this? There! Great, it's got a combination lock. Is this... a time capsule? With this... Oh, right, reminding him. Um... 
This is their time capsule. There is a dial. The numbers on it range from 1 to 12. Maybe the date? I suppose you open it by turning the dial. Uh, um, try to pick it open? There's oh, look! No I was eyes pick. just chilling. Oh my god. I guess picking isn't always the answer. Damn it. No way. Well, that was easy. They just gave me that one. They felt sorry for me. It's a time capsule with a dial on it. Maybe this one. Time capsules are usually buried, aren't they? Is that so? Yes. Try burying it under a tree or something. And maybe him digging it up would jog something? <sighs> Done. Now if we wait, something might... Mizuki, look! What? Oh, looks like burying it was pointless. It's like that movie, Sinister. You destroy the tapes, but you get a new version. The extended edition version. Three minutes left. You can do this. Alright, I didn't see that one coming. Uh... Crap. Alright. Kuma, try not to, like, you know, force break this. Try to use your head. Hmm. Come on, Kuma, use your head. It's a time capsule with a dial on it. There are 12 notches on the dial. I mean, would I be able to hear the click? I don't think it will open. This isn't right, is it? Alright. It's a time capsule. Process of elimination. Well, that just happened. It turned six times and it stopped. And inside. The glass slippers that Liam gave to Kizzy. So, when in doubt, always go for the most expensive option? His feelings for Kizuna have not wavered. They are still true. You know, as someone that has had glass stuck in their foot, I wouldn't recommend wearing glass slippers. A RTX 4090 is $4,090. $4, $4,090. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It is incredibly stupid in Australia. No way in hell I am ever buying a current generation graphics card. Like, a 380 would cost you maybe, like, what, 400 bucks? You're getting, what, 20, 30% extra processing power for 10 times the price. Wrong. I'm not worthy. Lian, you were both so happy, laughing with each other before. And then the Fire Nation attacked. By which I mean the explosion. Get yourself together. How long are you going to be like this? Uh-oh. What is this? You're okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kinsey. That was scary, huh? Are you hurt? I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you. Is that a heart? Maybe it symbolizes Leon's love. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts all over again. Leon, do you want to just give up? I'm... 
I. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Is a heartless? What? Uh... A key? To what? Confidence, Kizuna, future. You think this is love? You are pitiful! Ugh. You are criminal! You don't have a right to love. And you never will! Damn! Iva, use that key. I think you need some confidence. Be confident, Leon. Your lockpicking talent is extraordinary. No, not just the lockpicking talent, just in general. But that talent led me to a life of crime. Oh, God damn it! Uh, this key isn't working. Leon, you have Kizuna. Kizuna doesn't like criminals. Like me. Ah, uh, of course. Uh, this key isn't working. Typical Kuma. Leon, you may have been a criminal in the past, but you paid for your crimes. You cannot be held prisoner by your past. What's important is the future. I committed a crime. I can't change that fact. But I decided I'm gonna live a clean life from now on. I'm going to make my future. What are you doing? This asshole, the one that experiments on children, go f yourself with a chainsaw. And you're the very filth in that gutter. <laughs> hey! Iba, the next key. Lian. You are a genius when it comes to opening locks. Oh god, why would the lock- why can't you just give him confidence in general? Think of how many people you've helped with your skill. Be confident! Yeah, I should make something out of his talent. I'll live a good life. I'm gonna help people who need locks opened. You couldn't protect the most most important to you. You are weak. All talk. You have no right to be by your side. That even a thing. Leon, are you trying to make me cheer you up? What? You probably want me to say, it's okay, Leon. Kizuna loves you too. If so, you truly are a weak man. D hey, Aiba. No, let me talk. <laughs> I think Aiba has some pent up rage from Date, and she's like, okay, no more. Leon, you believe you failed? 
You believe you couldn't protect the person most precious to you? Then you try again. You protect her again. You keep trying until the day you die. Why do I feel like this is not about Leon? You're not worthy of Kizuna? Then become a man worthy of her. Why do I feel like this is not about Kizuna? If you are going to pity yourself and give up your dreams at the slightest obstacle, then I suppose you really don't care about your life or Kizuna's. That's not... <laughs> the last key is inside you. I am not going to open it. It has to be you! <laughs> I'm... No matter what happens, no matter what people say, I... She... Kizuna! I love her! I swear this is an episode of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Kizzy! Uh, look! Kizzy! My feelings for you can make me fly! Even if you can't walk or dance. I will become your wings! I was born to protect you. I'm sure of it! And, no matter what hardships lie ahead, I will protect our bond. I will protect you for all eternity! Why did that feel like mm. something Naruto would say? A happy ending. Wait, what about information on the HB case? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Well, it is a sinker's job to get close to the heart. Jeez. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Fucking Iba. Oh, Iba. Oh, Iba. Just Iba things. Ah, uh, Iba. Iba, Iba, Iba. You know, that was kind of nice after last week's depressing ending. If we got the good ending and then we got the depressive one at the end, it would suck. Bid the soldiers shoot. Yeah. Oh, we're interrogating Spill him. Spill it already! I know you saw something that has to do with the case. That's what I would be yelling at you. Mizuki, that's exactly what you yelled at him. After seeing the Somnium, my game is a little off. Somnium? I looked into your dreams, Leon. Using a special device. All I saw in there was... I love Kizzy! Kizzy, I love you! That's it. Nothing important. <laughs> Mizuki did a cute voice. That's adorable. What would you do to reconstruct the dead town? Red light district. People will come naturally. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> I want the gold set first and the silver after that. Man, you never want to end a route with Gen dying. That just sucks. I'm so lucky I went with the bad one first. I'm curious about everyone else's answer, so I will go on a journey to the other world. Zoe so went off on a journey after becoming a respectable adult. LIES! Depending on how you raise it, you might be able to meet new eyeballs. You can view eyeballies that you raised in the picture book. Alright. Ah, we're getting a new one. Can you answer more questions so I can become an adult? What direction do you like? Down. I don't really care. Cool. Alright, thumbnail time.
That works. This is a nice table. A two-way mirror. Hey, Leon. Does this remind you of any voyeur content you've seen? What? Mizuki! No! What? Oh, if you don't get it, never mind. Mizuki! I am revoking your internet browsing privileges. I think Date is becoming a bad influence on you. Becoming? Leon, you're different. Do you like Kizzy? What was it that you saw about the HP case? Leon, you're different. Normally insomnia, you can see a person's true colors, who they really are. I wonder what my one would be like. But you were different, Leon. Who you are on the outside is exactly who you are on the inside. So, can you let me go? Now you know that I have nothing to hide, right? I like how he's not even being mad about us mind raping him. A freaking course! I love her more than the Soyuz! Or any space shuttle for that matter! What kind of comparison is that? Says the one that absolutely loves bugs. Like I said, I didn't see anything. There has to be a mistake. Well, that was surprisingly straightforward. Fine. Let's hold off on what you saw earlier. But I do have a favor to ask. You want me to pick that lock? But I said I'm not gonna do that. I already told you, I'm not unlocking anything for anyone anymore. No matter what? Yeah. What if I told you I'll give you a whole photo album of Kizzy? Really? Everyone has their price. Uh, uh, wow! Nah. In order to access the staircase, we need Leon's skills. Okay. What was it called? Damn it, what was it called? I was gonna recommend something. Thermite. Mizuki, I want you to make a batch of thermite. I can't get a warrant. It's a pain in the ass and it'll take too long. Thermite. It would also cause too much of a disturbance to destroy the door with heavy machinery. Exactly, thermite. We need to keep this simple and quiet. Thermite! So we need to convince Lian. Or Thermite. Correct. I'm sure Ibo knows how to make Thermite. Mizuki, you have a call. From who? I do not recognize the number. I cannot say. Connect me. Yeah. You? Yeah? We don't have time. I'll keep it short. Due to an improvement I made a few years ago, the words in the sinker's brain can be converted into voice data and sent via phone line. This is why Leon can't hear Mizuki's words this time. How fucking convenient. I just sent you something. It's not fake. This is a real video. Trust me. Goodbye. W what's with her? I don't know. But I have the video. I'm opening it. Father! How could you do this? There's nothing wrong with a parent caring for a child. If you continue to protest, I will force the issue. But you do realize she is legally an adult, and therefore can she, she can do whatever she wants. He's an ex-convict. You don't know what he's capable of. Says the guy that financed the person that tortured children for medical experiments. And I'm pretty sure they weren't even medical. With a snap of my fingers, I could get him arrested again. Wow, who's the real monster now? No! Kizuna, think about it. This is what's best for the both of you. I'm pretty sure what's best for her is you lying six feet under the ground without a head. What was that? Unknown, but it looked similar to a wink sink. Okay, putting aside the masked woman part, let's just say the video is real. It seemed to be Kizuna being threatened by her father, Richie, to break up with Lian. But that's so mean! Hey, uh... 
You've been quiet a long time. Lian, listen. Hold on, Mizuki. Don't tell him about the video. We may be able to use it as a bargaining chip. Okay. Lian, um, if you agree to my favor, I'll share something you will really want to know. Wow. Something I'd want to know. Yeah, it's about Kizzy. That's just dirty. Fortnite, max cyberpunk, 8K, 30 to 48 FPS, 4K, 64 to 80, 1080, 100 to 196. Yeah, but it also depends on your CPU. It's not just the graphics card. And we're back here again, which was mysteriously rebuilt this is after totally collapse. totally crazy. The cathedral is completely rebuilt. Six years is enough time for that. With Nye's finances, that is. So, what are we doing here? Ah, well... Yeah, what are we doing here? Ritual platform? It seems to be a sort of sacrificial pedestal. Okay... Pillar... Sand... Man, I love how sand just keeps falling from this. With the Ryzen 7950, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Man, I'ma stick with the PlayStation 5. Cause F just building a computer just to play the game. Talking about it might solve things. No. Let's save the game just in case this thing crashes. Data save. Cool. Bow, uh, thank you. Oh, I never thanked you. Thanked me? You opened the staircase locks. Oh, that? That's no big deal. Wait, so they opened the staircase locks and this is where it led? Oh. For me, it's like opening a pickle jar. Ah, uh, I see. Impressive. About the information. And like I promised, I'll tell you that thing I was talking about. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This guy is an airhead. You were talking about breaking up with Kizzy at the park earlier, right? Uh, yeah? What if everything she said was an act? A lie? She didn't mean it? Right, she was lying to you. But she had to. What? Why? Well, her father... If you continue to protest, I will force the issue. With a snap of my fingers, I could get him arrested again. Can we use this video as, like... Blackmail evidence? Seriously? Ricci said that? Yeah. So basically, she had to lie to protect you. Yeah. Kizzy. It's not like we actually work for Abyss or anything. Isn't that a relief? Can't we just, like, frame her dad as the serial killer and get it over and done with? Yeah. But it hurts me to think about what went through her head when she said that stuff. But, I guess I should be happy. Yeah! I am having a very difficult time understanding his type. <laughs> there should be a hidden safe around here. I came here to look for it. Is there hidden treasure? If there is, we'll split it 50-50. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for a file. It might be a big lead. A file? Hmm. Anyway, where's this safe? Hold on, let me look. Should I help too? No, it's fine. I can just use my superpowers. Your what? Just hold on a second. X-ray time. It's Leon. What? That's... I love how we never actually checked in there. Mizuki, I know. Hiya! Mizuki, smash! This is. You gotta be kidding! Is it Kizzy's dad? Who is it? 
I do not know who this is, but... They're another victim of the HB case. <laughs> well, that's just random. Here's another half body. Have fun with that. Sweet silent thought. He's just throwing his bodies at this point. Nice Japan branch. Ah. It looks like a mannequin. Well, this is the thing. That face. Looks like a mannequin. Synthetic skin made from chitin. Uh, so this is like an experiment on how to chop people in half? Often used for skin transplants for burn patients. Oh. So there's no way of telling who this person really is by their face. At the very least, it appears that terror got to them. The cut section is identical to the other victims. Which would mean this person was in the Horidori Institute basement too. That would be the case. Estimated time of death is February 10th, 12 o'clock. That's when... Yes. Jin's left half that was found at the stadium had the same estimated time of death. Hmm. This guy's cutting bodies at the same Damn. time. I have no idea what's going on. All of this is totally beyond me. I am also at a loss. But it is our job to make the incomprehensible comprehensible. What do we need to do to accomplish that? Find leads? What is the biggest lead that we have right now? Uh, killing Kizuna's dad? That's... uh... The new corpse? Guess whatever, Guess whatever she, she was, was looking, looking at was really, really important. important. Oh, Shoma. Something, Something she didn't, she didn't want, want anyone to know. know. Tokiko's file! We should look through it now. That is the reason we came here, after all. Hmm. Someone's right half. Their face is covered with a chitinous material. Well, that's a broken ritual pratfall. No safe inside. And Leon's out in the corner. Poor guy. Alright, time to look up her file. Oh my god, Cheeky, she's just gonna bark at anyone that walks past the house. Oh yeah, well. Alright, let's take out Tokiko's fire. Tokiko, Tokiko does whatever uh, Tokiko does. We haven't met a few people yet. Do we have Tokiko yet? Leon, Amama again, Tama, Ryuki, Aiba, Mizuki, Terra. Not here. Can I flip another page? Nope. What the heck? Maybe she's not in present. Do we have Tokiko here? Um. Nah. Oh, there it is. Tokiko. Tokiko, female, 53, 15 Feb, president, likes, flow of water, flow of time, x time shapes, bugs and glitches, dislikes none, hobby, simulation theory, research, skills, prophecy, president of knives, a believer in simulation theory, she sincerely believes that the world she lives in is fake and was created by someone, she has no interest in living a, living a long life in this world. Okay. That's it for that one. No Tokiko, Tokiko in this one, unfortunately. Is that it? Is that it? What the heck? I guess in the appendix? Appendices? Do we have anything on Tokiko? Tokiko... 
Tokiko. 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 No. Alright, I'm getting in that weird step where I'm actually getting a little bit stuck. Where on earth am I supposed to look at her file? Am I doing something wrong? Guess whatever she was looking at was really important. Something she didn't want anyone to know. Tokiko's file! We should look through it now. That is the reason we came here, after all. Her file? So can I remember... ...what her file was? What file did she have? Army God? What? What? Bondage? <laughs> Alright, does anyone actually know what Tokiko's file is? I'm a little bit stuck. Spectre, Masks Woman... No. No, everything here's been looked at. No. No one knows? Alright, I might have to uh, Google it if I get stuck. Performance review. What's this? Never actually clicked this before. It around the area, not your information file. Ah! So it's around here somewhere. If I was a file, where would I be? Looking around, looking around, looking around, looking around, looking around. Sand? Nope. Hmm? A wall? What the hell? Oh! It's a hidden safe! Just as Shoma said. The safe is in the wall. Is there some kind of mechanism that slides the safe into the wall? Say that's what I get for, you know. Like what? A switch? A button? An input device? A touchpad? Hmm. <laughs> She's just gonna smack it. Jesus! Hey, what are you doing? It was getting really annoying, so... It worked. What? Do you smash apart Rubik's Cubes to rearrange the colors? Whatever, it worked, didn't it? Escape room operators would hate you. <laughs> That's our girl. In any case, even I don't think I can get the safe open. Then... Right. Hey, Leon. Yeah, got it. The one, the only. It's open. There it is! Is that the file you were talking about? Probably. I'm glad I could help, but I do not want to know what's inside. I don't want to get involved in any more trouble. Liam walked back to where he was standing. Now, Mizuki. Yeah? I turned the page on the file. It is a printout from a PC. It begins like this. Everything is here for the frayer. Tokiko Shigure. That reminds me of a certain thing where we need a keyword. So Tokiko wrote this? Yes. What does she mean by frayer? Unknown. Let's keep reading it. I opened up a random page and read it. Tumors on the right side of the body. I only discovered these symptoms when he was five years old. He was taken by the Furue family, yes. But he is my son. I spend all my days thinking about ways to save him. Wow. Then, Chikara reached out to me with a way to save Jin. 
When I first heard his idea, I was mortified and angry. His plan was this. Kidnap a child with DNA as close as possible to Jin's, and transplant their organs as needed. I mean, it could work, but it takes a very special level of fucked up person to consider it. The very idea made me tremble with fear and trepidation. But thinking about my son, I reluctantly agreed. So that's the missing child from years ago. Shikara began traveling the country to collect DNA samples from children in orphanages. Of course he did. After a while, he found a child with the exact same genotype as Jin. Uru Samazuki. He was six years old and held at Iowan. God. Late at night, Shikara and I broke into the facility, shot him with tranquilizers, and took him away. Oh, God. The transplants happened for years. More than a decade. Wouldn't freaking surprise me that this is actually happening around the world, but anyway. From Uru's right half, to Jin's right half. And ultimately, the right half of his face as well. And you kept this fucking kid locked up in the basement while you did this. You literally put this kid through hell. You literally put this kid in hell. Growing up in a basement. Having his organs removed one by one. All the while, Uru was under Chikara's complete control. While that fuck was torturing him. He was held captive in the basement of the Institute. Like an animal, raised solely to be Jin's donor. I went to go see Uru many times. It may sound hypocritical or contradictory, but I felt sorry for him. So I guess Uru could be... Terra. Whereas Jin might have actually died. Or vice versa. In that they pretended to make Jin Uru in the first murder. And this is just the other half of the body. Uru desired my love and attention. He looked up to me. Yeah, because you were the only person visiting him while he was being held captive on the fucking ground. It, it, it's, it's frickin' Stockholm Syndrome. Even though he knew I was one of his kidnappers. I told him about the teachings of Knives. This world is not real. And therefore, your pain is not real either. Oh yeah, this doesn't sound like a crazy cult at all. No, no, no. That is what I bestowed upon him. Oh yeah, so the world is not real, yet you did this to another kid to save your kid, who in actuality is also not real. You're in such a degree of denial that it's embarrassing. His eyes sparkled with intensity as he listened. He wanted to be useful to me one day, so he began studying. Over time, my doubts and guilts rose up inside me. Suicidal ideation became impossible to resist. One fateful day, I slit my wrists with the intention of ending my life. Remember, down the road, not across the street. Fortunately or unfortunately, I failed. Yeah, because you have to cut about a centimeter and a half in there. And it's not exactly easy with all the tendons in the way. I wavered between life and death, but eventually recovered. And I was blessed with a revelation. This world is only a simulation. I, of course, already knew this truth, as it was central to Nye's teachings. But in that moment, I truly understood the meaning behind those words. 
as I learned of the great deception that is this world. I lost all emotion. Oh, so that's what caused you to lose your emotion, not the fact that you kidnapped an innocent child, used him as a guinea pig for medical experiment and an unwilling donor while he's being trapped underground and starved of all external stimuli, and the only thing he has to attach himself to emotionally is you. Hmm. Hmm. There's more, but it would take a while to read everything. I skimmed through the pages so Ivo could scan everything. Got it. Scan complete. I have already processed everything written there. Thanks. But why did you show up all of a sudden? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. Yes, my little Tamagotchi, what do you want? What would you do if you got questioned by the police? Nothing. I wouldn't say anything. I'd complain. Police have their reasons. You should be accepting. No, you say nothing. They're not your friends. Where were? Jin Furuware, half-face transplant, about the slicer found in the basement of Horidori Institute. That body was not a part of the HB case. It was already in the basement. Chikara must have been experimenting with different procedures before deciding on organ transplants. Therefore... I don't know, like cutting two bodies in half right down the middle? And then you combine the left half of one with the right half of the other? Combining bodies? Yes. It seems Chikara was attempting to combine the donor's right half with Jin's left half. Which is why there are two slicing machines. How would that even work? It wouldn't. Which is why he came up with the organ transplant idea, which was far more realistic. <laughs> I, I, I love how we built this fucking machine and then realized it wouldn't work. Idiots. Half-face transplant. Right. The tumors appeared on the skin as well. Ultimately, it reached the right half of Jin's face. When I say right half, I mean from Jin's perspective. The tumors covered the whole right side of his face. So Terra isn't actually Jin. Those were all removed. And afterward, the skin of the right half of Uru's face was transplanted onto Jin. Poor guy. Jin Furue? As indicated in the file, Jin Furue was Tokiko Shigure's son. And his father was... 37 years ago, when Tokiko was 23, she became pregnant with his child. So the child the masked woman was talking about was Jin. Why didn't they transplant the whole face? The left half of Jin's face had a unique percent-shaped mark. A percent-shaped mark? After Chikara left Nyes, he became a follower of the cult called the Order of Percent. To them, the percent mark had a special meaning. The mark of percent is a holy sign of the Creator. Chikara would not dare remove such a sacred mark from Jin's face. Which is why the left half of Jin's face was left untouched. Within the file were photos of Jin Furoe and Uru Sumazuki before the transplant. This is what Jin Furoe looked like. That's not the person we saw that was popular online. What? I understand you want to say something, but please let me continue. Next is Uru. This is what Uru looked like. What? Well... 
Summarize uh, the face transplant. Okay. I don't get any of this. I understand you are confused, so allow me to condense the information. After the transplant, Jin looked like this. The right half of his face was Uru's. The left half was the original. Untouched to preserve the percent mark. What happened to Uru after he lost the right side of his face? The part of his face that he lost was then covered by a chitinous material, a synthetic skin. Artificial skin? Correct. The corpse is Uru Somazuki. How can that be? Technically, half of Uru Somazuki. But the person that we saw as Terra did not have the percentage mark on his face. So that would mean it was probably Uru, not Where Jin. Where is the other half? You already know. Pretending to be Jin? The left half of the corpse at the stadium on the 10th. That was Uru too? Yes. And of course, six years ago on February 10th, the body found at Devita was Jin Furaway's right half. So where the fuck is Jin Uruwa's left half? And what the fuck is it connected to? So, this and this are two different people. Oh yeah, I'm sorry I didn't guess that at the beginning of the game. It is easy to understand why the mistake of thinking they were the same person was made. Their faces are identical. Yeah, and the first body was destroyed. Besides the fact that they are mirror images. But that is not the only reason. When the body was found at the stadium, the DNA sample used for comparison was DNA taken from Jin's organs. The corpse had lost almost all of its blood, and the body was extraordinarily damaged by fire. Therefore, the DNA samples had to be taken from the organs found at the scene. And because those were originally taken from Uru, it of course follows that they match. That's how the two bodies were determined to be the same person. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. What about Jin's face in the media? Edited by using a mirror image of the right side of his face. Jin never appeared publicly. The photos were all provided by him. Now we know who Terror is. The diary in the basement of Horidori Institute. Terror definitely wrote it. It was Uru being kept there. Terror was Uru. Undoubtedly. Poor guy. He's but literally been brainwashed. Uru is... He's been brainwashed since being a kid. He's the goddamn victim. Yes. He is no longer alive. So... They basically did all of this to save Jin. And they fucking ended up killing him anyway. And Uru, who suffered through everything and lost his organs and everything else, is the one alive. Uru died February 10th this year. What about the other victims? Who killed them? He could still be alive. It's, the half of his body is just connected to someone else. Unknown. Jesus. Aeon's Garden. Wow. Wow. Lian. Kizzy. What is going on here, Big Sis? I love how they met here. I answered your call. That is why I am here. 
Ah, that's why. But I did not know he would be here. Lian. I know. Oh, this should be cute. Busy. I heard what your dad said, but I've cleaned up. I'm not gonna do anything bad anymore. I won't go to jail. Please, don't worry. My father will never forgive you. Your father will never be forgiven. What will you do about that? Put him in acids, mostly. I want to be your legs, Kizzy. And your wings. Let's use those wings and run away together. Maybe don't talk about running. <laughs> but other than that, pretty good. We can fly as high and as far as we want. To the ends of the earth. So you want to elope with me? <laughs> well, technically, yes. Yes, that's right. Man, I haven't heard the word elope since studying Shakespeare. Since studying Romeo and Juliet. Gizzy, I'm gonna make you happy. I will never make you cry. I'll keep a smile on your face every day. But what about your happiness? You being with me is going to take away your freedom. No, that's not true. Being with you makes me happy. With you, I can fly. Let's go, Kizzy. I... Mm-hmm. Aww. Leon, I understand. Please, take me with you. Higher, farther, to the ends of the Earth. Of course. Aww. L Leon! But what are you doing? You know how dogs sometimes get so excited they pee? Um, uh, please tell me you're not about to pee. It's kind of like that. What? <laughs> well, let's begin. Start the music! No! Did the game just crash? No! 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 Oh, God! No! Imagine Kizzy's dad is watching this utterly confused from the window. You truly are too good to me. Huh? Did you say something really nice just now? <laughs> <laughs> no. I was just making fun of how simple you are. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad everything worked out. Happily ever after. Case closed! I don't know about that. I don't think this is all so simple. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. We still haven't solved the HB case completely. That is not what I mean. There is a group of people on their way here. Huh? What? They will be here shortly. Ah, oh, great, it's the cops. How shortly? Let's see. Another... Two seconds. I hear guns. 
What the fuck? How did you get this many people here? What? Did they bring? <laughs> there they are. The girl's there too. Mr. Chieda said to get her back. Don't hurt her. What about the guy and the other girl? Can we kill them? He didn't say no killing. That makes things easier. Who are these guys? I believe Ricci hired them. Jeez, way to ruin the mood. Get back, you two. I'll take care of them. Leon, protect Kizzy. Got it. They'll have to take Kizzy over my cold, dead body! What? They vanish. <laughs> really? Stealth camera? What was that? You? I was just passing by. No, you weren't. Mizuki, they're using optical camouflage. You don't Use say. Mode. Right. I can see their body heat signatures. Wait, how did you know that? I guess. No, you didn't. Oh, hold up. That's my bike. Could you at least ask? Mizuki, I think you have it wrong. What? what do you mean? I got it on the internet. What? Anyway. What? Let's go. What? Is this a time paradox? Is that Mizuki? Is that Mizuki from another time? Is this Mizuki from another time? Is this Mizuki from, like, the future? Something's off. Oh! We're about to see something! Why? Why are you doing that? Who'd you just hit? Oof! What is this? Resident Evil 5? Whoops! I accidentally pressed this button by accident. I was looking and Mizuki, I pressed this little button. Stay with me! Mizuki! <laughs> That's what I get by accidentally pressing the button. Looking at the other button. Ah, let's get some real watch this. We got the nice little Metal Gear Solid outro. Loving all the references. Seriously, how high can she jump? That's what Wesker's saying, Uroboros. <laughs> she did the whole backflip dodging bullets and everything. Did the spinny thing. Really? I missed that? Oh, come on. The mask is gonna fall off. Moment of truth. Who are these chicks? The bitch Avengers or something? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, stronger than Black Window, that's for sure. <clears throat> Black Window. Uh, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, uh. Hi, we're guys with guns. We're gonna fight in melee.
Thanks. You helped me out again. No. Don't worry about it. The mask is gonna fall off. The mask is gonna fall off. And we have a time paradox. Or time travel. Or something. Or she's another Mizuki. So, what's going on here? Well, this is going to be interesting. So, she's either an older version of Mizuki, or she's Mizuki Type 1. Or version 0. <sighs> Guess it's time to let the cat out of the bag. The NASA glue loses its hold over time. Big sis! Nice seeing you again, Kizuna. AGAIN! What? Please stop calling me that. What? Uh, hold on. I'm trying to process this. Kizzy and Leon? You know her? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, stuff happened and... Stuff happened? C fine. Whatever. I'll think about it later. What I want to know is... Your face. We can talk about it all later. More importantly, Kizzy and Leon, you need to get out of here. Those guys might come back with reinforcements. I thought they oh. were the reinforcements. Right. You can use my bike. There's a helmet under the seat. The keys are still in the ignition. Uh, are you certain this is okay? No, but just give it back as soon as you can, okay? I can't thank you enough for this. Kizzy, hold on tight. Okay. Do you know where you're going? Well... To the ends of the earth. All right. Let's go! Did they fuck with time? Did you fuck with Bye, time? You too. I hope you stay happy forever! Thank you! My big sisters, you stay happy forever too! That bike is working overtime. Leon must weigh at least 90 kilos. He's pretty buff. Okay, explain. Off they go. They'll be fine. EXPLAIN! Huh? What's wrong? What isn't wrong? Fair enough. Can we talk? Yeah, but before that... Again! We need to get rid of those guys. Really? It's just getting ridiculous. They did not appear to even notice Kiza and Leon escaping. These guys are idiots. We can't let them follow them. We gotta take them down. So let's go, Mizuki. Mizuki. Ugh, damn it! I don't get anything that's happening, but fine. You and I are gonna talk about everything after we're through with this. Fine by me. Well then, let's start. She's gonna get shot, isn't it, she? Good. Yes! So is she like the original Mizuki before Mizuki was created, or did they fuck with time? What?! This is worse! You didn't even give an explanation! You bullsh- That is bullshit! That is utter bullshit! Now imagine me doing this before getting her out. Oh, come on! Look, like, my hypothesis is because Mizuki is created through modification, probably on the genetic level, this other Mizuki is probably just an earlier Mizuki that wasn't 100%. Which is why it explains that she was, you know, experimented on and tortured. He probably had a few Mizukis, but he ended up killing them all. And this is the one that escaped. 
and eventually Mizuki Mizuki was created, which is our Mizuki. I think that is the rational conclusion. I think it's more rational than Time Fucker, personally. But the bike really throws me off. And the fact that she's using the um, pipe, that really throws me off. Because I would have thought that the pipe is a custom built. So why would she have a custom built pipe? Just like that. And drive the exact same bike. It's a bit weird. It, it, it almost like hints that it's the same person. And also the eye. She's got a blue eye instead of a yellow one. Mizuki lost her eye. So what, did this other Mizuki also lose her eye? It, it's a little bit, you know what I mean? There's a little bit in it. My theory is Mizuki is an ectobiology clone from Homestuck. At this point... So now I wonder, by Iba scanning all of the Tokiko diary, do we have the password that we can give to Tokiko talking about Freya? That's the question. I remember it was like a eight letter or a nine letter word. So I'm a little bit trying to think. Man, this is just, I can't believe they just do this. I can't believe they just do this. Like, here's your answer. Have fun with that. Bye. What's the official? No, bye. My job here is done. Done. Bye. You figure it out. It's your job. You like this sort of shit. Wow. I wonder what this ending is called. Happily Ever After? Probably. My Disney ending. The ride into the sunset. To the ends of the earth. To the ends of the earth might be a good ending name. Is there a post credit? Is there a post credit? That's the real answer, uh, question. Do we get a post credit? Kizuna and Leon route end. Ah, oh, so zero escape. But do I get anything? Come on. Anything? I must get the document in the file. Oh, this is now unlocked. Of course this is now unlocked. <laughs> I like how this casually just unlocks. Because we can't actually, we don't actually have the password for this. But this will unlock here. Okay. After that little shenanigan, how about we take a quick two minute break? And then we come back and continue the story. What do you guys say? Quick little two minute break? We can leave this music in the background during our break because it's only two minutes. So I'll be back in two minutes. Two minute break.
We're back, back again, let us continue. You made some sandwiches, I hope they're delicious. All right, birds. I think this is where like the plot just starts getting dumped. I think we're at the point of the story where the plot just starts getting dumped on us. So strap in your butts, we're going in. Birds. Marble bar and fortune telling. Let's do this. I think this is where the plot just starts getting dumped. Last. Here it comes, boys and girls. The plot. And there's Mama with oh, a big you came. jelly balls. Good. Want something to drink? With water? On the rocks? You don't have to be shy. It's on me. Mama. It's such a bizarre case, the HB serial killings. That being said, the facts are fairly straightforward. Pointing out a culprit can't be too hard. Do you already know? Terror. Who are they, really? Cheeky, shut up! <laughs> Cheeky! You dirty dog. Give me a jump scare. <laughs> Mama, please don't talk about coming while rubbing your big two voluptuous balls. <laughs> Fuck. Um, let's get the shit out of me, Cheeky. <laughs> Which one do you want? Friends, five quadrillion yen, superpower. Nothing needs to be done. Give me superpower. Work hard. I became a Chaldi. You became a Mizuki. Alright, where were we? Who is Terra? I mean, we know that answer. Oh, we can't actually interact with any of the other objects in the bar. Yeah, yeah, we are definitely at the plot end. Uru, Mama. Yup, you got me. I wanted to slurp on the juices of young men, which is why I sliced them in half. Oh, God. Oh, come on. There's no way. 
Besides, Komeiji and Shikara are not young. Care to give a more serious answer? Don't talk about... You know what, let's not go there. Tokiko. I see. She was involved in the HB case, but I don't think she did the deed. Jin. Why would it be Jin? He was the first victim. I like how Mama was like, right, but she doesn't know why. And I like how the memory actually shows we know what their face looks like, which requires knowledge from other timelines. I'm just saying this is becoming very morphogenic fieldy. Right. Uru. We know he killed at least three people. But how does Mama know this? Jin Furue, Chikara Horidori, Andes Komeiji. But why did he kill them? Okay, to be fair, to be fair, Jin Furue, I wonder why. You mean the person that took all of his organs and stole his life? Chikara, you mean the guy that kept them captive and tortured him? Tokiko, you mean the bitch? And, well, to be fair, Komeji kind of did it to himself. Like, Komeji was never an intended target. So when you really think about it, all the people that were killed were assholes. This isn't like a random serial killing of someone picking innocent victims. All the people that were killed were bad people that did things to Uru. So, should we even be stopping him? What was his goal? For the Nirvana Initiative, to get revenge, for personal enjoyment, to build schools in Africa. He wasn't some noble philanthropist. That has nothing to do with anything. You listen to Bury the Light every day for one hour? You must be going to the gym every day. Chiki, chuti. Chuti. Now she's just getting annoying. Personal enjoyment. I don't think Uru had that kind of hobby. Revenge? That's true, I suppose. But that wasn't the main reason. Nirvana Initiative? That's right. The Nirvana Initiative. The loony plan to have humans reach Moksha. That's why Uru killed the three of them. We can put aside the little details for now. The most concerning aspect of the whole thing is the time difference. The left and right sides of the victims were found six years apart. Regarding the first victim, the facts are already in. Six years ago, on February 10th, Jin Furaway's body fell from the ceiling of Devita. And this year, five days ago, also on the 10th, Uru Somizuki's left half was found at the stadium, not Jin's. Okay, so Mama basically knows about the Uru Jin situation by communing with the dead. Plastic surgery and complete organ transplants. It fooled the investigators into thinking they were the same person. But what about the other victims? Chikara, Komeji, Tokiko. How do you explain those three? Chikara was a cunt. This guy was an idiot. And I'm questioning whether or not she's even dead. You have good intuition. You might already know. Why did it seem like their bodies appeared after six years? Ryuki and Mizuki were hallucinating. Professor Brown created a time machine. Back to the future! I like it! I like it! The timeline was not in the correct order because Tokiko made miracles happen. Time machine! Who is Professor Brown? Could you please not introduce a new character out of nowhere? Timeline, not in correct order. Right. In other words... It's not like that. It's like this. This is the timeline that you actually experienced. Who's been fucking with the timelines? 
The red and blue lines are intertwined, almost like DNA. You started on the red line from the top, and then followed the blue line, which led you to this point. You've traversed four X's. Yeah, because we kept getting auto-locked. The left side is six years ago, and the right side is this year. To make things easier, we'll call the left side past, and the right side present. Well, yeah, that's how I've been thinking about it. In other words, you came here. Jumping back and forth between past and present, a day at a time, all to end up here. Now do you understand? So we were playing a game? Chikara's right half was found the night of the 11th, in the past. His left half was found the next morning. Komeiji's right half was found on the 13th. His left half was found the next morning at 6 a.m. Six years have passed, and now we're here. In the present, Tokiko's right half was found on February 12th. The next day, a little past midnight, her left half was found in the basement of Horidori Institute. Long story short, the left and right halves weren't found six years apart. They were all found soon after each other. Nothing supernatural here. So you're saying we were time hopping from our consciousness? This is the chart that shows the flow of the story in chronological order. The flow chart can be checked. I must be missing something because we all knew from the beginning that we were playing a segment from six years ago and a segment from six years later, right? But that still doesn't 100% explain why we found one half six years before, one half six years and six hours later, Beside the fact that Terra was just holding them in a wheelbarrow. A a am, I, am I stupid? So the side on the left took place in the past six years ago. And the side on the right took place in the present. So all of the orange... Sorry. <clears throat> everything on the left side was six years ago like this and everything on the right side is present yes from this view right now yes yes the plot twist is that they weren't found six years apart it was just our perspective was hopping back and forth If something is confusing you, it's not that it's confusing me. It's that I don't actually understand the reveal because from the beginning, we knew that we were playing half the story six years in the past and the other half in the present. We knew that this entire time. I don't understand what the mind blowing twist is because that was established at the beginning of the game. I mean, you, you can see it every single time you play as Mizuki. Because Mizuki is, like, she changes her height. I, I, I'm, 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 did I miss something? And you've also got, what was his name? The plot twist is that you as the player was jumping multiple times for past for the presence. Yeah, same for me. This twist is for the sake of being a twist. Okay. Because this twist isn't actually a twist. We knew this from the beginning. <laughs> but the Mizuki plot, you play a bit more. Okay. Because I wasn't confused at all. 
<laughs> but anyway, okay. You did a zero time dilemma. This isn't like a mystery to the characters. It's a mystery for the player. This twist is for a player. It doesn't change anything for the game. So the player was just reminded that half of the game was set in the past and the other half was set in the present. Even though, even before they did this, it actually broke off. It explains the six years gap between some of the halves as well. Okay, so I, I I think I may I think I may have gotten the thing that's going on. And correct me if I'm wrong. It's not actually six years difference. It's just that by playing Ryuki, we think it's six years in the past. Is that correct? Is that correct? Yeah, but the half you thought was the half was experienced three hours and past, present, blah, 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 too complicated. Yes, you played as Ryuki in the present as well. Thank you. So we played Ryuki in the present, not in the past. So the plot twist itself was actually that we thought we played Ryuki six years ago, but that wasn't six years ago. It was just littered with so many flashbacks that we thought it was six years ago. Yes? Okay. If that's the case, cool. But we also knew that. <laughs> okay, maybe not that we will put... Well, we did play him in the present for a little bit. I don't know, whatever. This is just jumbling for the sake of jumbling. They, they're just jumbling this shit for the sake of jumbling. Look, this is just gonna make it more difficult for me to find the part with Tokiko to fucking tell her the thing that we're a Freya. That's all this is gonna do. <laughs> Without sounding like a dick, not as amazing as they thought it was on paper. Just saying. Or maybe this is what I get for playing Zero Escape before playing this game. Maybe. Okay, do we go back? Anyway, that's just my genius analysis. Oh, but I know what you're gonna say. There's still tons of things that can't be explained, right? Especially, who killed Uru and Tokiko? Jin, Chikara, Komeiji. It was terror, Uru who sliced these three in half. But then Uru was killed in the present, February 10th. Was he? Tokiko's body was found after that. So who killed Uru and Tokiko? Well, I'm sure this mess will be cleared up soon. By Mizuki? Her friend? And by you, Freyr. Ah, oh, Freyr, the player. So anyway, good luck with the rest of your investigation. I'll be cheering you on. So that's why when we saw Terra and um, Tokiko a couple of streams ago, we were like, what the fuck? We thought you were dead. But they weren't dead yet. Okay. Uh-huh. Who was I just talking to? Ah, so we're like the spirit Maybe she Maybe I've had to. a bit too much to drink. It's awfully cold tonight. There were a ton of hints toward this plot twist. For example, after Ryuki fails to catch the suspect in the cathedral, Boss is super angry with him and demotes him. This seems harsh, but in reality, she was mad because of him shooting a civilian during the balloon hunt. When Ryuki examines the balloon in the office, he says, T Basically, 90% of the stuff you didn't get an answer from was because you jumped hey, in time. about Kizzy. 
Are you sure she's okay? Don't worry. I made sure she's fine. Hmm. You play Ryuki in the past. Kizuna went missing. Last night around 11 o'clock, Ruchi Chieda, her father, contacted me. Did you tell him to blow himself? Aiba and I started our search for Kizzy. After a while, I got a call on my phone. It was from her. She told me to meet her here at Iron. So, that makes us sisters? We're not the same age, but we're like identical twins. We have almost the same genes. That's crazy. I'm a copy of you. Don't say it like that. But I'm your clone, right? Technically, yes. But our DNA isn't exactly the same. My genome was rearranged. Your DNA was modified on top of that. Which is why you don't have the symptoms I have. Basically, you're an upgrade. The perfect version of me. Don't say it like that. Les effons terribles. Basically, 90% of the stuff you didn't get an answer from was because you jumped in time. You played Ryuki in the past and the present, though it was presented as him going day to day in the past. Ah. Yeah, that threw me off the first time. Ah. The only body for which a six year gap between finding the halves is mentioned is Jin. For the rest, while general shock is shown, a long period of time between the halves is never mentioned. So it's basically misdirection. They made us assume that we thought it was the past because we had a sequence in the past and we just figured we were in the past after that, but we actually weren't. They just misdirected us. Fair enough. I mean, like... Basically, misdirection towards the player, not in-game characters. Nice. I, like, if I can be real... This sort of reveal blew my fucking mind in Zero Time Dilemma, but it didn't exactly blow my mind in this game. Maybe because I was kind of expecting it from the get-go that something was going to happen with the timelines. And it did, but not in the way that I expected. Every day you change between past and present. <clears throat> Why, why, why were you hiding your identity? If I revealed myself to you, you would want to know everything. In one way or another, you'd find out. You'd find out that your genes were spliced. That your real parents aren't Renju and Choco. I didn't want you to end up like me. I wanted you to live a normal life. As normal as possible, anyway. Get a normal job, a normal husband, Get married, start a family, live happily ever after. A life like that. But if I showed up, I would ruin all that. That's what I thought at least. I see. But why didn't you tell me seven years ago in November? I was already well on my way to an abnormal life at that point. <laughs> Maybe that's true. Mm. About February six years ago. It's like I told you. I want to know who did this to me. I know that Chikara was the mastermind, but I want solid proof. That's why I was investigating him and his institute. But then, out of the blue, he gets killed. That's why I started following the HB case. I was raised at Iowan too? Yeah, the same as me. When I was six, you were born at Horadori Institute and sent here. I'm guessing they thought it was too difficult to raise you at the Institute. I remember the day you arrived like it was yesterday. You were still a baby. But the moment I saw you, I got this feeling. I started bawling my eyes out. The people at the facility didn't know we were related. Makes sense. They were told we were from two different places. But we are both named Mizuki. And we looked really similar. So to make it easier, everyone started calling me Big Sis. They called you Mizuki. 
Yes, little Tamagotchi. What martial art are you good at? Capoeira, Muay Thai, Sistema, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I think Muay Thai is like the closest to what I am, but I think we're gonna try something different. This time we're gonna go with Capoeira. Looks really cool, but it's pretty useless in fighting games. Have you actually seen Eddie in Tekken 3? See ya Fab, be good. Why do you want Yuri with them? You sick bastard. What happened after I arrived? They took me to Horidori Institute every so often for examinations. Well, I say examinations. I mean human experiments. I don't think you remember. But they did terrible things. I remember getting shots with needles as big as boba straws. My time with Horidori Institute ended when I was nine and you were three. It shut down and we were finally free. That's about the time you were adopted by the Okiura family. But me? Well, I told you about me, right? You were blind in one eye and had a heart condition. Right. So it was hard to find a family who would take me. Ultimately, it was Mr. Chieda, the chairman. So when you were nine, you were adopted by... The Chiedas. I spent the next six years there, up until I was 15. I lived under the same roof as Kizuna. Is that why she keeps calling Mizuki Big Sis? I see. That's why she called me Big Sis. <laughs> Remember the bunny from her Somnium? That was Mizuki. Huh. Huh. That sick fuck. What about after that? You said something about an eccentric woman? Yeah, I was adopted by her. Do you mean Shizue Kuranushi? Boss. Which is why my name is Mizuki Kuranushi now. No wonder she has a soft spot for Mizuki! You think that sounds kinda lame, huh? No, it's not that. No wonder, man! You know how we're stronger than everybody else? Maybe she thought I'd come in handy. So she wanted to make you work for her. I don't know if that's the truth, but that's what she told me. Boss taught me how to fight. After she adopted me, she trained me hard every day. Six years ago, when I was 18, I was hired as a top secret member of Abyss. Boss wanted someone who she could rely on. Someone who would never betray her. She trusted me to handle the most sensitive situations. Basically, I'm like a ninja. Well, a kunoichi. Which is why my existence at Abyss had been hidden. The only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. Ryuki? Why? I wonder. About February, six years ago. I asked her about what happened then. She told me the details of what happened on the 12th and the 14th. The 12th. The world is a game and I want to play with you. If you win, I'll give you a nice hint. I place three balloons in random places around Tokyo. The balloons are red and blue. Look for them. The shrine. Abandoned factory fight. And then Ryuki. And then Terra Somnium. What you have seen and heard cannot be shared with anyone. If you do, I will kill her. I have an abundant amount of money. Even if I were to die, the assassins I've hired would still find her. This may go back to the first game. What did Renju say? Mizuki was starving for love and wanted it from Shoko. Mizuki got away from Chikara and that, and to that cursed family. So the Mizuki we are playing as in the past sections was the masked woman. The Mizuki we play in the present is our Mizuki. See, that's a good twist. 
That's a really good twist. See, that's a fucking good twist. See, that just fucking changes the whole scope of everything in my head. I see. That's why you didn't talk about what happened six years ago. But I think it's okay to start talking now. Why? I was able to freeze all of Terror's hidden accounts. We don't need to worry about any assassins anymore. Iba, you don't remember anything from February six years ago, do you? I do not. My body was destroyed in the explosion at the cathedral. That's why Mizuki didn't recognize Data and why Data went, you look just like her. See, that is clever. So the balloon search, terror reveal, and Somnium, Gen Somnium, was all done by a masked woman. Wow. And Mizuki must have been 12 in the events of six years past. The Abyss communication network was also offline. So there was no backup taken. By the way, I'm curious. Why were we given the same name? I don't know. Maybe they didn't really care about the name. But wouldn't that make it harder to tell us apart at the Institute? Ah, uh, I don't think they had any trouble. We had code names at Horidori Institute. I was Mouse, and you were Rabbit. See, you probably shouldn't have told me about the fact that she was the Rabbit, because right now my mind would have been blown. So, I'm going to stop reading comments for a while. And you remember what they called us at Iowan, right? You were Big Sis, and I was Mizuki. Yeah. Is that what I called you? No. You were still little. You couldn't talk much. You just called me Phoebe. Phoebe? Yeah. Phoebe, huh? Anyway, we've already spent enough time here. We shouldn't be wasting time like this. Good point. There's still tons we don't know about the HB case. Follow me. I want to show you something. What do you mean you thought they revealed that already? You were here for the whole stream. And we just started talking to her. Bruh. Huh? What is it? Oh, no. It's nothing. Let's go, BB. <laughs> BB. BB. Oh. 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 What's going on here? Ah! Oh. The corpse in the freezer. What the fuck? <laughs> this is information overload. My brains are gonna flow out of my ears. Jeez. Just relax. I can't just relax! What is this corpse doing here? And why are Kizzy and Leon here? Oh! And most importantly... Who the hell is this?! What? Isn't it obvious? Wait. You're that stupid porno mag collecting old man. No. Yes. Why are you dressed like that? Where is Genny? What are you doing here? And one last thing. Where have you been the past six years? Why didn't you try to contact me? I'm sorry, Mizuki. Is, is he gonna get out of the Gen outfit or what? Okay. I think I kind of get it. Six years ago, Date lost his memory when the ceiling collapsed on him. Then he got captured by terror, but managed to escape. And he's been wandering the Earth for the past six years. Five days ago, on the 10th, he heard the news about Jin's body being found. And finally got his memory back. That's right. Oh my god. My voice reaches Dante's brain right now. That's because there is a receptive device in the left eye socket. You can mute me by turning it off, but that's a real hassle, so it's still on. It's the same for Mizuki Kuranushi. She hears my voice too. Hmm, Mizuki Kuranushi. It's kind of long. I'll call her BB. 
Oh my god. That was a beautiful reaction from Mizuki. So, so beautiful. So beautiful. About Bibi. I've known her for a long time. She's a former co-worker from back when I was doing bad stuff. Back then, I used to call her Quartz. Hey, don't just blurt that out! Mizuki's name comes from Crystal. The kanji for Crystal can be read as Mizuki. Crystals are the solid form of silicon dioxide, a mineral. Most often recognized as Quartz. Wait, so you were in a thieves guild, Bibi? The snow isn't letting up. Don't change the subject. Wow. What time is it? Why do you ask? No reason. It is currently 4.25 a.m. Daybreak is close. Why are you here? There's a reason I'm here with Kizzy. I got a call from my old pal Date. I asked him to unlock something for me. Are you talking about the freezer? No. I got that open on the 13th. It was a different lock this time. Anyway, that is when we met with Date and the woman he was with. The woman? I was there too. Wait, was it the blonde girl with the boobs or the boobs with the blonde hair? Kizzy, I heard you went missing. I am a little embarrassed to admit this, but Leon and I plan to elope. What? May I ask why? Kizzy's father won't accept me. He threatened to send Leon to prison if he continued to see me. And that's when I suggested that we run off together. And I agreed. So you two... Yeah. They're both on the run for love. But we don't know exactly where we want to go yet. Right. We need some more time to think about it. Weren't we there when Mizuki saw that happen and Bibi and Mizuki bashed everyone? About Bibi. I suppose Big Sis has already told you everything. Big Sis and I lived in the same home for six years. But I never thought my Big Sis was my Big Sis's Big Sis. So confusing. Anyway, Mizuki Date, I will call you Little Big Sis from now on. And you, Mizuki Kuranushi, I will call you Big Big Sis. Still, just as confusing. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Mizuki is Bibi's clone. Date already knows this. Bibi told him. But Kizuna and Leah don't know this yet. They think they are just sisters. Probably for the best. Are you okay? Are you cold? It is snowing outside. But do not worry about us. My heart is burning strong. Did you tell Riichi? I have told him that I am safe and sound. Okay. Well, I'm glad you weren't kidnapped. I am so sorry that I worried you. Yeah, I'm sorry about all this, you guys. Isn't, like, eloping technically kidnapping yourself from your parents, who up until that point in the olden days would technically own you until they married you off? So you're technically kidnapping yourself. Uh, where is the real Genny? I don't know. Not here. It's fine. I know where he is. Don't you have an idea too? Bibi? Bibi. But what? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to call you by that name. That is considered another timeline. Oh god. <clears throat> Why were you pretending to be Geni? I know that Horidori Institute and Nyes are both caught up in the HB case. Gen was created at the Institute, and he was acquaintances with Tokiko. So, by borrowing his mask, I could snoop on Tokiko and other members of Horidori Institute. But why do you still look like that here? Horidori Institute and Nyes people come here all the time. Imitating Gen makes it easier to eavesdrop on them. Makes sense. Why did you reveal your identity now? I'm gonna be honest, this has gotten way out of hand. I can't do this on my own. We need to work together to stop their plan. Their plan? Yeah, the Nirvana Initiative. So first, I contacted Mizuki Kuranushi. Date and I met six years ago. He knew how to get a hold of me. I shared everything I had, and told her to find you, Mizuki. To help stop them? Basically. That explains that hot thing. 
clever. When did you find out about the corpse in the freezer? Last night. Date called me out of the blue. He told me about the corpse. And how he was pretending to be Genny. And everything else he knew. <laughs> Are you a spy? Are you a spy? Are you a spy? Am I a spy? <laughs> We're having one of those moments. Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> Who is the corpse in the freezer? Let's talk about it later. Trust me, if I explain it now, it'll only confuse you. Ah, uh, it's got the it's got the it's got the um uh percentage mark. It's um it's uh Jin. It's Jin's it's Jin's corpse. Percentage mark. Let me just say one thing. What? Do you have more insults to hurl at me for missing six years of your life? No, it's not that. Maybe she just wanted to hear you say, Mizuki, you've grown so much, or something emotional like that. No, not that either. Ah, oh, right. For you, it's been six years. For me, it's different. I've been back for four days dressed like this. I've been watching you guys the whole time, so I don't really have anything sappy to say. I told you, it's not that! I'm home. Welcome back. Is that what you wanted to hear? All right, okay. Let me try this again. Mizuki? I'm home. Welcome back, Date. But that's not what I wanted to say. Just hug! I threw away all your porno mags. Not the porn! No! Okay, I'll ask again. What's the deal with the corpse? Why is it in the freezer? That deserves to be a clip. <laughs> His life is over! That collection took a decade to amass! All the limited edition! <laughs> it's better that you see for yourself. Let me just show you. Another corpse? No, not one more. Not one at all. It's half. You mean like divorce? What? Why are we going to nice? This is also considered another timeline? So, you finished reading the file? Yeah. Now do you understand? Now you know whose left half is in the freezer. Jin. Jin Furue. That's what he really looks like. And this body? Uru Somazuki. Terror. He murdered three people six years ago. Jin, Chikara, and Andy's Komeji. Look, to be fair, Komeji did it to himself. Why did he try to blackmail a serial killer? You fucking idiot. Like, had he not done that, he'd still be alive. Like... Komeji dug his own grave. He he fucking did. He was drunk. Oh yeah, it, yeah. Like that's what we do when we drug. We, we, we fucking blackmail serial killers. What happened up until now? I wanted to ask Shoma about the genetic experiments, so I visited him. I looked like Gen, so it didn't raise any concerns. He told me a lot about his body and his older sister, and about the hidden safe. That's what we came here for. 
So that was you. Wait, Shoma has an older sister? Yeah. You know her well. Kizuna and Iris's friend. A mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. <laughs> Fucking everything's connected. A mommy doy. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, because we're fucking playing as this other Mizuki, so she doesn't actually know that. Really? And she also has blue hair. Is she another one of the genetic experiments? Fucking everyone's a genetic experiment. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was just that thing because my father got tricked not to wear a condom. How hard do you like your ramen? Um... I'm boring. Normal. How's that brave? Kameji is a great anti-alcohol ad. Don't drink kids or you'll do something stupid and get yourself killed. You know, like drive. Or worse, you'll do something stupid and create another life that owns you for 18 years. Bibi, how'd you get here? Only a few hours ago, around 1am. I asked Leon to open the door to the staircase. So the lock you mentioned earlier. That's right. The lock to the staircase door. That's when I asked them about their plans to run away together. Then the four of us headed down the stairs. Leon carried Kizuna down. And that's when we found the corpse on the ritual platform. Oh, right. So that wasn't the thing that we did with Mizuki. That was diff... F okay, no wonder I was confused. God damn it! Stop giving me alternate crap! Oh god, I can't be the only one that's confused with that. File. Tokyo must have written this. Z box. Let me guess. More corpses. You changed. That outfit was so hard to move in. With the wireframe and all the stuffing. Are Leon and Kizuna okay? Leon and Kizuna aren't here now. <sighs> we split up ramen. They're not going far away, are they? They should be fine. They said they were going to think hard about where to go. <laughs> New Zealand. Jin Furue. I don't need to explain it. You should already know. Jin Furue, the child of Tokiko and Chikara. He was born with a rare and complicated disease. Well, that's what happens when a sick fuck creates a child. It has as many defects as the father. It caused inoperable tumors to grow in the right half of his body. Jin might have had it worst of all. He got his first transplant when he was really young. I don't think he wanted to take organs from Uru. Remember what it said in Uru's diary? He said he wanted to apologize. I think he is referring to Jin. So you think the transplant was done against Jin's will? I'm not positive, but that's just the feeling I get. Hmm. Baron Pervert. <laughs> <clears throat> How did you find out? I used Marco's x-ray function. Marco? The name of my AI ball in my left eye. There's another one? He's pretty shy. He doesn't talk much. Unlike someone else I know. Excuse me, are you talking about me? Mm-hmm. I know Iba really well. We were partners six years ago. When I was hired at Abyss, I was supposed to get Marco transplanted into my left eye. See, this would be the reveal that Mizuki was the Mizuki from six years ago. This right now. But he wasn't finished yet. So instead, I got Aiba. See, this would be the reveal. But Aiba and Date. Yeah, Aiba and Date were kind of fighting at the time. Yeah, this is definitely the reveal. Damn it, I got spoiled in two things. Guys! And I needed to see if I was compatible with an AI ball at all, so... I see. I apologize. I do not remember anything from back then. Kuma, they told you when Bibi and Mizuki were talking. I know, but it wouldn't have clicked yet. They said special missions. It was chat that told me that the six years ago thing that we played was actually her. It would have actually been revealed now. Because we would have remembered this conversation, and then we would have been like, Oh... Because of the explosion, right? Yes. It's kinda sad. I made so many memories with you, Iva. Aww. That's 
sad. Why were Aiba and Date fighting? Um... Well, you see, I, I was so preoccupied with my work. No. It was because you tried watching VR porn while Aiba was still in your left eye. That does sound like something that would make me very angry. I told you a million times, it was just a watermelon splitting video. With boobs? About Uru Somezuki. I can't really say anything more than what's in the file. Uru Somazuki. He's the child that was kidnapped from Ion when he was six. It was Chikara and Tokiko who took him. They wanted to make him Jin Furoe's donor. So for over a decade, they did surgery after surgery, giving more and more of Uru to Jin. Half of his face, too. And Jin died. The skin he lost was replaced by an artificial skin made of carbon chitin. Half his face was transplanted onto Jin's as well. Right. And it was only half because Jin had a percent-shaped birthmark on the left side of his face. A holy symbol for the Order of Percent. It was considered sacred. And Chikara, being a devoted follower, couldn't get himself to rip that skin off. Which is why the left half of Jin's face was left untouched. And after all those transplants, Jin's body ended up being cut in half. Six years later, February of this year, Uru's body was cut in half. So, who's been doing the cutting? So what was discovered was Jin's right half and Uru's left half. Jin and Uru are essentially mirror images of one another. So when the police were identifying Uru's body, they got their DNA sample to compare against from Jin's organs. And because those were originally taken from Uru, it naturally follows that they match. So that's why... That is the mistake that caused investigators to believe that they were the same person. Mm. I've been wondering, six years ago, why did Uru cut the bodies in half? That was for the Nirvana Initiative, right? Yeah, but what does that have to do with the plan? And speaking of, is the Nirvana Initiative still happening? I mean, after all, Terror's dead. Right, the Mastermind is dead. Or is he? But you saw it, on the night of the 13th, on the rooftop of Misaton. That was terror. It was definitely Uru's voice, but Uru should have been dead. Perhaps his voice was recorded. Either way, the rehearsal happened even after Terror died. Which means... The main event will likely still happen as well. Yeah, it's safe to assume it will proceed as planned. But I still don't understand the full scope of the Nirvana Initiative. When? Where? How? We are completely in the dark. Why don't you ask the culprit? Yeah, good idea. Hey, Uru. What's up with your plan, you asshole? No, that's not what I meant. There are other culprits. Whoever killed Uru and Tokiko. You believe they might know something about the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know for sure, but they at least might have some clues. We don't have enough information yet. Looks like we're gonna need some extra help. Help? Over here. Come with me. But I was gonna scan whatever was in the box. There's nothing over here. You would think that, right? But check this out. Open Sesame! Marco, please. Damn, I didn't scan whatever was in the box. I thought it would make progression happen. What is this? Do you like it? Erotic, isn't it? God damn it, Dante! How is this in any way erotic? Much more erotic than watermelon splitting. Let's get going. Y yeah. But the box! I, I didn't check out the box! Damn it.
Want me to tell you? Sure. I don't think I'm going to hop back in time just for that. You'll find out what's in the box soon. Oh, okay. Don't tell me. I'm not going to read. I'm not going to read then. I'm not going to read. I'm not reading. Closing my eyes. What's in the box? What's in the box? Ah, <clears throat> uh, wait. What? They didn't rebuild it. It's another one. Huh. What does this mean? It means exactly what you see. There are two cathedrals? That's right. Mizuki, look. What the hell? Ryuki. I'm here too. Tama. How is Ryuki doing? Terrible. It was a bad idea to show him this place. He's been like this for hours. Yeah, Ryuki's all messed up. About Ryuki. Do you hate Ryuki? Of course I do. Why? I'm gonna shove a pipe in his mouth and stir up his organs. Why? Six years ago, he... It made my heart condition worse. Oh. It affected my work. I can't investigate properly if I have to go to the hospital all the time. But when I heard you recently joined Abyss, I shadowed you. And February 10th, when you went to the stadium, I got there before you and found the corpse. At the time, I had no clue it was Uru's left half, but I knew it had to do with the HB case from six years ago. I told you before that the one thing I wanted was for you to live a normal life. I couldn't let you get caught up in this case. I had to stop you. That's why... I see. You shot at Mizuki to dissuade her from finding the corpse. Mm. She seems a little pissed. And Date. Two cathedrals? Marco, can you send Iba the data? Got it. Opening it. It is a cross section of the two cathedrals. You get it now? There's one on the east and one on the west. Terror blew up the west one. This one, right here. Which happens to be the same side Ryuki met Terror. What he called his execution chamber. On the east side was Uru's corpse and Tokiko's file. And that mysterious box. The one connected to the Nice building is the east one. You can take the elevator up to the president's office. Why two cathedrals? Huh. Beats me. Maybe it has something to do with what Nice believes. Two and one. I think they were obsessed with that. Stupid shameless man. <laughs> hmm. I'm back easy now. What's going on? My game just... My game's freezing. I heard. So she eloped, huh? Wow, that just froze. It had nothing to do with the video. It was just Ryuki's act of imagination. Are you okay? He appears to at least be breathing. It might not be if there was rope and a branch in here. Dark. This has been eating at Ryuki for the past six years. He regretted what he did and blamed himself. He betrayed Date and shot Mizuki Kuranushi with stun bullets. <laughs> and what happened to Mizuki, Date, and Kizuna on top of that? Yeah, Terra detonated the bomb, but it was Ryuki who told Date about this place. If he never did, Kizuna and Mizuki wouldn't have been hurt. That's what's been plaguing him. He started drinking, which made the whole thing worse. I don't care if he feels bad about it. I still don't forgive him. Easy. He had his reasons. But this is important to the very self destruct program. If I activate it, she'll be lost forever. 
What about the self-destruct program? Hmm. Why are you here? Date called me. Yeah. I told him to head over to the other cathedral. Does that mean he saw Uru's corpse in Tokiko's file? He did. Yep. And then he came here through the hidden passage. Hmm. What about the self-destruct program? I was overhauled completely during maintenance a few years back, and that function was deleted. That's when Ryuki opened up about what happened. Why didn't you share this earlier? I couldn't. Ryuki betrayed Abyss. He did something you can't come back from. I couldn't let anyone find out. So you protected him? It's the same reason I didn't upload the investigation data from six years ago. I made an oath. No matter what, I'll... I will protect Ryuki. Cute. But Ryuki himself could have informed us sooner. You should know why he didn't do that. Why he gave in to Terror's demands. He wanted to protect his loved ones. Wouldn't you do the same? Aww. Aww. It's cute. Ryuki, you made a mistake. But lying around here in all your misery isn't going to fix anything. If you really regret what you did, solve this case. That's the only way to atone. Ryuki, I remember one night we went out drinking. You told me about your little brother. You always talk about him when you drink. Why this song? You made him a promise, right? He said, I'll become a hero of justice. If I've fallen, I just need to get back up again. You used to say it all the time. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. As long as you have a body to do it, you climb back up again. Come on, Ryuki. Climb above the debris. It doesn't matter if you're pitiful. It doesn't matter if you show vulnerability. You struggle, you crawl, and you make it back to the top. That's what we do. That's what makes us human. Mr. Dante. Everyone. What's he holding? I... Ryuki, now's not the time to cry. Come climb up here. You mean... Don't get me wrong. I'll only forgive you after we solve this case. So... After that, we all shared information. Aiba, Tama, and Maruko shared everything on the local network. Date received everything as well via the device implanted in his eye socket. Anything that wasn't recorded electronically, we shared verbally. Everything from six years ago, everything from this year. All the information including Somnia from top to bottom. So, the first thing on the agenda is stopping the Nirvana initiative. When? Where? How? We don't know anything about it. Hmm? We should know everything except where. Tama shared all her data, right? I did receive the information. I didn't give it a close look. Ryuki, can you tell us more about the Nirvana initiative? Yeah. I'll explain everything in order. First, Terror, Uru, created a video. Okay, I gotta manually do it. Let's just save in case this thing explodes. Look, the game seems to be glitchy. Look at that. It's stuck on the loading menu. Wow, I am getting scared that this game is gonna crash. It's acting really weird. Um. Don't worry about me. You should talk to Ryuki. She's gotten over Ryuki. Why are you talking to me? It's Ryuki's turn, isn't it? Here. Oh, look at that FPS drop. The guy whose little head does all the thinking. <laughs> A 
about the videos. Uru created three videos. QR video, Nirvana trial, and Nirvana X. The QR video was the first. The QR code on the signboard in Jin's body. That was a link to the video, right? Right. So it was first made public six years ago, on February 10th. The motive was... Really a small part of my plan. It's the prototype. There were stories about people who went missing after watching the video, but... It's just a part of the it was actually the second video that caused people to go missing. The Nirvana trial. The Nirvana... Uh, the Nirvana... The... Yeah, about the Nirvana trial. It was uploaded on February 9th. Back when Uru was still alive. But what for? I think it was a beta version of Nirvana X, the third video. For testing purposes for the main event. Testing what? There was a code, like BATS 490, in the Nirvana trial video. That code led to the Eastern Cathedral. The coordinates led to the staircase. Yeah, but that door has tons of locks. Right, but the staircase had another code. By solving that, you could collect the numerous keys located all over the city. And those who did solve everything would be able to unlock the door to the Eastern Cathedral. Did you notice the box? Inside was a device that shot TC Purge. If you open the box, it triggers. Bruh! My motives are complex. Indeed! Indeed! What foods do you make your visiting friends? Eel Hitsumabashi, eel sushi, eel liver soup, grilled eel. If I could, I would make eel sushi. I haven't heard it heard it. You sure it's not Anagoi? Eel is delicious. I had like a whole big eel, like a whole eel on rice and salad and everything in Japan. So good. The sushi we have here pales in comparison. This was fresh. Fresh! Caught that morning. <laughs> Caught that fucking morning. It was so good. You know what the worst part is though? You can go to 7-Eleven and buy whale in a can. Horrible. Horrible, I tell you. TC Perch. When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. It can make you see things, make you dance. Ha! That explains it! It makes you do weird things over and over. And it spreads in the air. If this virus gets out somehow, the human race is in for a rough trip. Can you picture it? The whole world going crazy. People everywhere doing unpredictable things. Crazy things. Over and over. I'll be honest. I contracted TC Perch because I opened the box. But it's okay. Ryuki has developed a resistance to it. And he can't spread it either. Is that why he started talking in error code? Having said that, TC Purge is still a problem. Before the body develops a resistance, it can spread. Not to mention the neurons that are damaged can't be repaired. That's why Ryuki was acting weird. Is that what it looked like? When I was infected with TC Purge, my symptoms got worse. Disorientation, short-term memory loss, hallucinations. He's been seeing hallucinations for six years now. The mental trauma of what happened to his brother. Oh, the game just froze again. What the hell, game? What the hell? People can play Nier Automata on the Switch, but you can't play a text-based game like this? Come on, guys. Anyway, those who solved the code and opened the box contracted TC Purge. Congratulations, Ouroboros! And as a result, they started acting strangely. And now, there are people dancing and riding in the streets. And a lot of suicides. So this is what you're basically doing to smart people. I see. These people would have no motivation to return home. That's why so many people went missing. In other words, Uru's experiments were a success. He's dead now, but 
His plan is still alive. I'm guessing his lackeys are carrying out the plan now. To raise the curtain on the main event. <laughs> What's the main event? A massive dance-off? You know, I can't help but remember what Wesker said. <laughs> it's like, soon, Uroboros will be released into the atmosphere, causing complete global saturation. Meanwhile, the guy called Uru is bot firing rockets into the atmosphere with a bioweapon. And I'm just like... And he just so happens to use the exact same gun as Wesker. And Mizuki just so happens to dodge bullets by doing backward flips the same way as Wesker. And not just backward flips, the exact same number and the exact same landing as Wesker. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. I think I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna shoot the rocket somewhere. With TC Purge on the warhead. The rocket will explode. And the virus will spread? Yeah. Most likely, yes. Tons of people will get infected with TC Purge. It will grow in their bodies. And inevitably spread. From one person to another. If we do things that are beyond the comprehension of the designer, simultaneously, all around the world, bugs will start appearing everywhere. This will lead all mankind to reach Moksha, an emancipation from this fictional world. That is the Nirvana Initiative. Even if this Nirvana thing turns out to be bullshit, the virus itself is a problem. Right. I don't know if it will really cause glitches to appear or anything, but it'll be mass hysteria. Why don't we just lock everyone in for like two years? That will solve the problem. There is already an uptick in suicides. Yeah, but that's Japan. Like, in general. Seriously, it's really bad. When is the plan going to happen? The final video, Nirvana X, is already public. Sounds like a porno. There's a seven-digit number, which is probably a time and a date. February 15th, 12 o'clock. Is this going to fit into whatever the hell we need? I, I think I tried to do this, but it turned out that I need letters. Noon, today. Iba, what time is it now? 7.55 a.m. Yeah, this ain't gonna end well. We barely have four hours left. Well, stock up on snacks. Well... We don't know. My guess is the other letters that were in the video are some kind of code too. Nani? Maybe they point to a location. Nani? 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 Letters? 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 Gimme, 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 gimme. C, C, F, G, G, D, A, E, I, G, A, A, G. No. I converted the letters to numbers and checked the coordinates. It's an area in the Pacific Ocean. No land around. I don't think those coordinates are where the plan is happening. Then where could it be? But it could be where the rocket is coming from. It could be on a ship. Oh, I remember something BB said earlier. The culprit who killed Uru and Tokiko. Maybe they have a clue. Right. Well, in that case... There is... One person. Is it you? I don't know if they're the culprit, but... Is it you? They might have some valuable information. Is it you? I didn't know where to find them before, but I've got a good idea now. That person... She's... She, huh? Probably with Shoma. The sister? The mother? The sister? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> of course! <laughs> Rocket scooter. <laughs> but the suspension and the wheels cannot handle that much thrust. ROCKET SCOOTER! Let me guess the body. I understand. 
I'll tell you the truth. Big sis! Amame! The corpse in the freezer at Brahmin. I'm the reason it's there. It's my fault. You killed them! Six years ago, February 11th, my father called me here. Shoma wasn't here. Only my father and half a corpse. Ame told us about that Jin's body was hidden under the thing or the same body that was cut in the suitcase. Ame said she'd take care of it. She bought it again and they stored it in the freezer at Brahman. Genny didn't do anything wrong. I asked him to do it. And Shoma has nothing to do with this. He just found out too. Mame, that's not what we're here to ask. We're looking for the person who killed Terror and Tokiko. The robot. What? Terror is dead? The robot. We didn't have time to explain everything. We told them about Terra's identity and the Nirvana Initiative as quickly as we could. You can tell us more about what you know at the station. Amame, will you come with us? Somnium time! No, no! I don't care what you say! You can't take Big Sis away! I agree with Shoma. I don't want you taking Amame away. What's the problem? We just want to talk. Wait, Amame, did you? Kill Terror and Tokiko? What are you saying? Amami didn't kill anyone. It's okay if you did. They were dicks anyway. You think anyone gives a crap? You can kill Kizuna's dad too if you want. Genny, move aside. Sorry. I can't let you do that. I came here to protect Amame. Date. If only you didn't find the body in the freezer. Gen, she can't be prosecuted for that crime. The statute of limitations for abandoning a corpse is three years. Wait, there's a statute of limitations for abandoning a corpse? She can't get arrested for hiding the corpse six years ago. What? All you have to do is hide it for six years? Are you joking? What? Dude! But... I just can't let you... Gen, you're not making any sense. Hold on. Are you hiding something? Act of killing has close to no limitation. Unless you're Hillary Clinton. Why are you protecting Mame? I won't let you! She's my sister! We're not here for that, but... I have a bad feeling. A bad feeling? If she's not guilty of anything, then that's all the more reason you can't take her. I'm not gonna let anyone drag her away. I already lost my dad. If you take big sis, I'm gonna... I'm... Choma, you're a boy. No one gives a shit if you cry. When I was in first grade, Big Sis gave me a radio-controlled toy. That's how I got into building things. She took me to robot expos and bought me books and parts. And she's working hard to save money to send me to college. That explains why she's working as a hostess. These last six years have been hell. It was hard and painful. Sometimes I wanted to die. That's what it's like to be a teenager. But she's always cheered me up and supported me. During all of the gene therapy. Big Sis always protected me. Now it's my turn to protect her. She's more important to me than my own life. So, so, if you're gonna take her, you're gonna have to kill me first. Okay, whatever. Shoma. <laughs> I bet if we shot him once in the leg, that'd be the end of that. We'll be nice. We'll shoot him in the left leg. I promise to just make it a grazing wound. He'll go into shock, possibly pass out, but he'll be fine. Shoma. Do you hate Terror? The man who killed your father? <laughs> Terror's plan is still ongoing. The Nirvana Initiative? It's going to bring nice madness to the whole world. We need to talk to Mame in order to stop it. Do you want Terror to win? 
Don't you want to stop his plan? Destroy his ambitions? Isn't that the only way to get closure for your father's death? If you resent terror, if you want revenge, please. We need your help, Shoma. They should have like a Paragon route and a Renegade route. That would be amazing. <laughs> this is taking too long. Pipe! How about Mame? A Mame accepted every part of me. She saw me for who I was. It wasn't out of pity or sympathy. Her accepting me came naturally, like it was nothing. I've never met anyone like her, and I need to care for her the way she's cared for me. I promise to protect Amame, so I can't let you. Kenny. That's all the more reason, then. If you really have those feelings for her. If we do nothing, Terra will accomplish his mission. A terrible virus is going to spread. The world will devolve into chaos. No one will be safe. Not even Amame. No. So you need to help us. We need Mame's information to stop this plan. Amame must know something. Are you okay with ruining her future? Don't you want to protect her? Then please. <laughs> the dresser. <laughs> Whoops. What does the robot think? You finished that robot, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You named it Roboji, huh? Yeah. It's the second one, like a second child, so I named him Roboji. He's much more powerful than before. It can hold so much more weight than the previous model. Wait a minute, who cares? Could you people just leave? <laughs> Still a kid. BB. We don't have much time. We need to do something about Shoma and Genny. Date. By the way... Did you get rid of the Cleone in the fridge? No. <laughs> uh. The guy who doesn't put the toilet seat down. Are you what? okay? The TC Purge? I told you already. I've developed a resistance to it. But your brain's neurons were still affected, right? Yeah, but those symptoms are being held in check with some special medicine. It's not mass-produced, so we can't give it to too many people, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. <laughs> uh, Alright, Amame, it's time for your Somnium. The reason we want to talk to Mame. Mame, you know something important, don't you? Something about the Nirvana Initiative and Terror. Maybe something about Tokiko. That's what we're here to find out. Oh! How about Komeiji? Um... Well, I know this is a touchy subject, so let me say it. Terror killed Komeji, your father. It stands to reason that you absolutely despise Terror. Are you saying she killed him? That's ridiculous! Six years ago. Six years ago, on February 13th, you saw Terror, didn't you, Mame? At Studio Devita? What happened back then? What did he say? You still haven't told us. I looked into her head yesterday, but there was nothing on what happened at Devita. But in the Somnium, Mame said... Nirvana... Collected... Genocide... Which would mean you know something about the Nirvana Initiative. February 10th. Five days ago, on February 10th, did you meet with Tokiko? We don't have hard evidence, but a witness saw you. Anyway, Mame headed into Horadori Institute by herself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nice Japan. You know, if she doesn't want to talk, we have all the leverage we need right here. Genny, the man she loves, and her little brother. I mean, if she's not willing to speak with those two in the crosshairs, I don't know what she would say. Ryuki looked into Tokiko's head. Three days ago, on February 12th, he saw Tokiko threatening someone. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. 
Could Tokiko have been threatening you, Amame? Baby, Date, Ryuki. The real question is what now? Television, poems, lucky laugh, a picture, shrine. Wait, what the fuck is in the closet? No way. The bomba. Bitch. A thermite bomb. See, I keep telling you! Thermite! It gets through anything! A what? I mean, if a fucking maid at a cafe can make a thermite bomb, you can, Iba. You're right. It sure is. That little... Hey, Shoma. What is this? It's a bomb. A thermite bomb. Shoma, have you seen what Thermite does shoved up, up someone's ass? I know that. Then why did you ask? <laughs> you, 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 you little smart aleck. Why is it here? I made it. You made it? Thermite reactions are pretty simple. I know that! You can make one easily using common products. I know that too. But why did you make it? Well, to get revenge for my dad. I wanted to get terror. You were going to use this on him? Yeah, but I guess it has no use now. You should have gotten a gun. Terror is dead, right? Damn it! You just made the situation so much worse. Let's decide what to do about that later. Hey, I'll I'll recycle the thermite bombs. You'd never know when you need to lock fix something. Right. There is a more pressing issue. You mean besides the thermite bomb in a residential area in a densely populated city? Yeah, sure. Why not? What are we going to do? Just load them into the back of my car. I'll take care of the rest. The two of them aren't going to budge. <sighs> I really don't want to do this. But if we have to use force... No. You can't do this. Yeah, I won't let you take Big Sis. Shoma, you couldn't protect yourself from a bunny rabbit. Yeti. Shoma. That's enough. Amame. Big Sis. It's okay. I'll come back right away. Promise. Are you sure? Yeah. You promise? I promise. Now, Mame. Let's go. Is she gonna force us to do a Somnium or is she just gonna tell us? Because, like, telling us would be ten times quicker. But then at the same time, this game is all about Somniums. Yep, it's a Somnium. Is Ryuki gonna be okay? We left him there. Well, we had to. We couldn't just leave the bomb unattended. So you left Ryuki to keep an eye on things. The bomb squad should be headed to Shoma's house right now. It's quite a shock, though. Amame was the one who killed Uru and Tokiko. I never said that. But she's suspicious as all hell, isn't she? Regardless of how suspicious she is, she should know something about the Nirvana Initiative. When Ryuki sinked into her yesterday, he didn't find anything. Do not worry. I received the Somnium data from Kama. Because we are returning for a second time, we should be able to go deeper than we did previously. All right, we're ready to go. Start it up. 
We're going deep into a mummy. Deeper than any man has before. I'm sure you already know this, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Oh my god, all right already. If you say it one more time, I'm gonna sock you. Okay, okay. What she means is she's gonna get a sock and put something heavy Let's in begin. it and then beat him with it. It's what you do in prison. It's an improvised weapon. Oh my god, it's frozen. Wow, this game is really struggling. Sunfish pocket. Debauchery everywhere. That's the TV. Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. I am your host, Andy's Komeiji. A quiz show? It disappeared. I don't know anything. Huh? I really don't know. Mame? Mizuki, the data we got from Tama might come in handy. It's from when Ryuki synced with Amame. Right, when we shared information at the cathedral earlier. I extracted the evidence data that looked promising and converted it to a more usable format. Project this outward and the structure of this Somnium world will waver and unveil hidden information. In other words, if we show Mami the intel we got from Tama, we'll get a reaction. Yes, but not just a Mame. You can use the information to target many things in this Somnium. So you're saying I can target, like... Objects? Correct. If anything looks fishy, I'll try it out. The details are under look. View the information there. Hmm. Information in sound, right side secret, uh, memory in wound, what Amame said in yesterday's sink. Did you see his murderer, Terra? Okay. I, I'm pressing all of the buttons. Oh, okay, here we go. According to Tama's info, in the previous sync, there was a quiz battle. This is the first stage, the scavenger quiz. Amame likes music and voices. She collected many different kinds of sounds. She became highly skilled in gaining information from sounds. So that might mean that there's information in the sound of Mame Somnium. During this sync, we should focus on the sound. Ooh, that's different! This is Mame's Somnium from yesterday. Ryuki and Tama competed in a quiz battle to get this information. The information is as follows. Amame was often troubled, but when in doubt, she always chose the right option. When in doubt or when needing to hide something, she chose the option on the right. Thusly, all the occult quiz answers were on the right side. So that wasn't just by chance. This may be a common rule in Amame's Somnium. Cheeky god fucking damn it. This is information Ryuki and Tama acquired playing the spot the difference game in Amame Somnium. Amame came across many wounded things. Important things. The heart. Blood. She carries all of that damage inside. All the correct answers were bloodied or otherwise damaged when playing the Spot the Difference game. So we should look out for damaged things during the sink. Yes, let's keep that in mind. So you mean like a mame? More information we got from Ryuki regarding Mame's sink. Nirvana, collected, genocide. A mame said these words. That has to be about the Nirvana initiative. Most likely. Mame must know something. This is the reason Ryuki decided to sink into Amame. According to the investigation, there was a high likelihood Amame saw terror when she found Komiji's body, but this has not yet been confirmed. That's all of it. 
Looks promising for the investigation. Yes. Let's use this wisely. Now, Iba. Got it. Somnium scan, activate. This will be different. Amame's secret. Nightmare irreconcil irreconcilable. 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 Irreconcil irreconcilable? Or okay. Mama knows info about the Nirvana initiative, but for some reason she's hiding it. Use the intel you got from Yuruki to find out. Eight mental locks. More than usual. That shows how strongly she is willing to hide her secret. Let's try talking to her first. Apparently, a mama has a secret which she covers with a lie. Look, I, I was just gonna say threaten Genny or the other kid. In this somnium, inspecting objects will make evidence appear. You can check the obtained evidence by pressing ZR. When checking something, you can select show evidence options to choose evidence among the options. Hmm. All right, what do you want, my little Tomogachi? What skill can defeat an old man? Tomoe Naga, Oso Tari, Soe Naga, Yoko Shiho Gatame. I have no idea what these are. I'll go with this one. It's the most useful move to perform on an enemy when you want to pin them. I have no idea what those were. Let's save the game really quickly just in case. Okay, fun. Guess the one on the top left. It's Amame. Talk. Amame, can you tell me what you know about the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know. I don't know anything. The same answer. It seems suspicious. According to the info Tama gave us, she has to know something. Would you like to show her the evidence? It might cause a reaction. Let's show her some evidence. Currently, Amame has a secret which she covers with a lie. When her hidden truth is uncovered, the veil lies crumble. It's Amame. Show evidence. How about what Amame said in yesterday's sink? Let's confirm the details. This is the information Ryuki got from Mama during yesterday's sink. Nirvana collected genocide is what Mama she said. She has to be talking about the Nirvana initiative. Yes. We should show her this. <clears throat> Here on, on top of time spent for selections, every time you use show, time will be depleted. When you are correct with show evidence, the current total time will be depleted. Luck does not deplete, look does not deplete time, so organize your information and choose wisely. Yay. Amame, yesterday you said Nirvana collected genocide. Though it was in a dream, you were talking about the Nirvana initiative, correct? It was just an internet rumor. What site was it on? She's not saying anymore. I would like to keep questioning her, but I don't think we have anything that can draw more out of her. 
Let's check other locations. According to Tama, the characteristics we are looking for are something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. From a certain time, my mama is something something to something. A Vogueman. A cassette tape player. It's the one Mame always has on her. Press play, fast forward, show evidence. Show evidence. Key information and in sound. Mame's voice. The sound was distorted in the beginning. I was able to make out some words. Oh, it disappeared. We got the evidence. It should be fine. It's not information she got from the internet. Let's show Mame again. Now, oh, now I'm gonna get all the shit. From a certain time, Amame started having something. Of course. Uh, what evidence do we have proving our mom knows about the Nirvana Initiative? Well, the first one would be what she said. And then the second one. Not this? What? Someone told Amame oh, about one. the Nirvana Initiative. Oh, it was the words the Nirvana, Collected, and Genocide can be heard. That someone was most likely... Mizuki, I know what you want to say, but we do not have any proof. At this stage, they still must remain an anonymous someone. Oh, God. Interrogations. Amame, you heard about the Nirvana Initiative from someone. We have an idea of who that person was, but let's set that aside for now. In any case... You couldn't forget what you heard. In your dream yesterday, you said, Nirvana, collected, genocide, Amame. Answer me, what is the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know. is involved. A something has no even so. Stop! Ugh. I don't know anything! What's this? This is Amame's defensive reaction. She really wants to hide something. However, it appears to be permeable. We are one step closer. We should continue to evaluate how she reacts to get the information we are looking for. Let's look around. Looks like a lot changed. We are looking for something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Something damaged, eh? It is in pieces, but I can determine that this is some kind of occult magazine. This was not here before. Why is it in pieces? Read, I guess. I can only piece together some of it. There's a rumor that if you go to the old school building, third floor, and push the toilet handle up, down, up, down, left, right, down, down, Hanako appears. Sounds like some kind of video game code. Oh, this is the magazine that I read with Iris and Mame. It's fun, because all the stories sound so fake. 
This condition, it might be considered damaged. I wonder if something is hidden here. Is that the Konami code? Minus 999, I love it. An occult magazine in multiple pieces. At least we've got the minus 999. A book on Nye's teachings. Mame? Do you have some kind of connection with Nye's? I read about it online. That is not possible. This information is not available online. Is Amame lying? Yes. I wonder why the occult magazine turned into that book. Perhaps due to this Somnium, everything is presenting a false appearance. Hiding its true identity. A false appearance. Hey, Mizuki. Doesn't this book look like just the right side? Oh, can we use the evidence? From a certain time, Amame started having reoccurring dreams. Nice teachings. Only the right side. <clears throat> Show evidence, I guess. This is the truth? That seems to be the case. That doll was the one in the Nye's president's office. If Amame knows about it... Mame, did you go to the president's office? Well, Amame? I always talked about it with Iris, the secret society of Nye's. I was curious, so I went to seek them out. That means she could have heard about the Nirvana Initiative from Tokiko. Maybe it was so insane to her that it scared her and she wanted to hide it. If that was the reason, she could have simply told us at this point. Yeah, true. There's another reason she can't tell us. I like how the only inefficient choices I made were in the first stage, so I can't go back that far even if I wanted to. From a certain time, my mom and I started having reoccurring dreams. The people? Places and things? Oh, I can't talk to her yet. Z. Chicken? This is suspicious. Who is it? Show evidence, I suppose. <clears throat> nice teachings. This person has to do with knives and broken glass. Amame came into contact with you and subconsciously stored information related to you. The reason the doll appeared in the Somnium is because Amame went to your room. And the reason Nai's teachings were found here is because she met you. Which would make you... Tokiko Shigure? The code, the code to the to basement, basement is 4901095. Huh? Got it! Tokiko. We should ask her what relationship she had with Amame. Yeah, let's show her the evidence. Might come in handy one day. <clears throat> the people, what happened. Amame. Have you seen a book of Nye's teachings? They only exist in Nye's facilities. And the broken glass doll, that was in the Nye's president's office, Tokiko's room. And you knew the access code that only Tokiko should know. What happened between you and Tokiko? Tell me everything, Amame. Well... I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. I can't run from it. I need to do it. Mm. Blackmail. Mm. 
Investigate our mummy's behavior. A question with no answer has no something, even so. I knew it. Amame was being threatened by Tokiko. Stop! Of course. Ooh, this should be interesting. I don't know! I don't know anything! Life! Wait. Tokiko was murdered. What are you trying to say? Mame would never do that. Tokiko had some kind of leverage over Amame. Some kind of secret. To keep her quiet. That would be motive. No. Oh, and one more thing. Date was explaining this at the Enda household earlier. Amame has motive to kill Terror as well. Her father was killed by Terror. Andy's Komeji. Oh. Maybe Tokiko saw her cutting up Thingo. She was cutting up Thingo. This is exactly how he was found. So his body is inside the bag. But why is it the full body? Shouldn't it only be half? Yonaharu Enda. She saw the mutilated body of her own father. It must have shaken her to the core. She was pretty off, I remember. Totally zoned out like she wasn't even there. That's to be expected, though. It's not the kind of thing you just forget. Right. We got info from Tama regarding when the body was found. Let's show that evidence. You have about four minutes left. What? I'm gonna get punished now for A that? A body bag. Wow, I get the punish- Oh my god! Yeah, that punishment's gonna end up effing me. I should 100% restart this. It, that's just- that double is just gonna F me. Hopefully it should stop me from this one. And not the previous. I knew it. Stop! Man, that double punishment is just effed. I should have done it in the first one where I wasted a few, but hopefully I'm gonna get it right in this one. Oh, got her in. This is so his. Any evidence we can get from the body bag? Terror's Iron Mask. Six years ago, at the studio, I saw them. I was trying to untie Ryuki, and they came in, pushing a stretcher. They. So I ran. But they caught me. Next thing I knew, I had a gun pointed at me. They. They. As Ryuki suspected, Amame had contact with Terror. Uru. At that time, she probably did not realize that inside the body bag was Komeji's corpse. But when Ryuki regained consciousness, Amame saw it, and... She realized the man in the iron mask she saw was the person who killed him. Yes. Damn. A question with no answer has no right or wrong. Even so, something still dwells on. You have about four minutes left. It's Uru's Iron Mask. What? I get punished with a double either way. It might relieve some of Mame's stress. Huh? It disappeared. No good. I want to do something to help relieve her burden. Cool, so I got rid of it. It's Uru. So 
I should be able to do one fourth. No. Oh, bitch! She refuses to put it on. Oh my god, what a waste. What a waste. Shoma's head. Show evidence? Oh, I'm just gonna put it on. There is no point in me putting them on. Perhaps we should put it on this. Three minutes left, Mizuki. Careful Shoma's now. Shoma's head. Hi, Ba. Show evidence. Any evidence we can get from the headphones? Huh. I can hear something. Since Shoma's gone, I'm gonna borrow this. I'm sorry. Shoma's robot. Mame took Shoma's robot with her? I used it to go shopping. That's it. The center circle at the stadium. It is highly likely that it was that monowheel robot that carried Uru's body there. Right, but without using the slicer, it's impossible. Mame didn't know that the slicer was in the basement of Horidori Institute. I don't know about that. Hmm. Hmm. Tamagotchi, what do you want? What should I do to relax? Aerial yoga. Still doing it? No. I didn't exactly do this one huh? by the book, but a wrench. This is from six years ago. It's the sign that was stabbed into Jin Furroway's body. The QR code leads to the ViewCube video. It was linked to the QR video. Which leads to the Horidori Institute? But wasn't that a red herring that was given to us by Thingo? It takes me to the QR video page. The sign that was... Let's see what the trident does. It's an orichalcum trident. Stab iron mask, show mame. Stab iron mask, I guess. Why? Well, I want to avoid pointless actions right now. Oh Please my God. understand. I am losing this. Huh? I am losing this one. Huh? I am failing this one badly. What about the fish? A photo of a deep sea fish. It seems okay to take, but we shouldn't. Am I doing anything? What am I even doing? A TV. I guess. Footage from Studio Devita. An empty studio is kind of creepy. I do not believe there is any valuable information here. Uh, I'm getting owned. Pans were all similar. 
Komeji's it is outfit. a jacket belonging to Andy's Komeji. Check pockets. Huh. There is something here. A receipt from a discount supermarket. Cream Everest Flan. Super Sweet Heartburn Cafe Au Lait. Blood Sugar Raising Super Chocolate Donut. Do you like sweets? Elephant trinket? It's an elephant figure. Amame's personal belonging. Damaged iron mask? The iron mask. It's broken in half, down the middle. It is the left side. Or, depending on how you look at it, the right side of the wearer. Indeed. Let's call it the right eye side. Show it the evidence. Any evidence we can get from the broken mask? Did you see his murder? Borrowed one eye robot, threatened by Tokiko. Right side secret? More information. I think this one. God, I was running around for nothing. This is... the statue at Horadori Institute? The one that leads to the basement. Nani! Nothing looks off about it at first glance, but there's gotta be something. We should search this place. She stalked us? something I think you're just hearing things it is a little past 12 a.m. on the 13th this is the conversation that was held in the basement of Horadori Institute so what we were hearing was mommy if she was not present this conversation would not have played Amame knew how to get to the basement. I suppose she was headed there on that day too, but she heard your voices and scrambled to hide. Why? That's where Tokiko's left half was, correct? Are you accusing me? We have this much proof. I think you have an idea of what Amame did. Mizuki. Hey, Mizuki. Yeah. Mizuki, you're an Abyss investigator. You need to face the truth. I know. I know. I'll do this right. A question with no answer has no right or wrong, even so something still dwells on what could have been. Ah, I wasted a few, but anyway. The hidden elevator leading from the pre-access code. After showing the blue figure this evidence, they revealed the code. That would mean the blue person is Tokiko, and Mame heard her say it. So what we say, threatened by Tokiko? Knew the code. Borrowed the wheelbarrow. Made you like sweets. Amame, you killed Uru to get revenge for your father, correct? But Tokiko saw you and blackmailed you. You killed her to keep her quiet. Then, you left Tokiko's right half in the president's office, and the left half remained in the basement of Horadori Institute. <laughs> You're not so smart. So many mistakes.
to carry it. She crazy. It's only mental lock three. Jesus, I made too many mistakes. I might have to redo it. A question with no answer still has no right or wrong. Even so, Mame still dwells on what could have been. Mame. <laughs> Mame, what's wrong? We're wrong, right? You didn't kill anyone, did you? Please tell me you didn't do it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Mommy. What would you have done? Can you honestly say you wouldn't do the same? Really? You always make the right decision? You don't know anything. Don't talk to me like you understand. Okay, Junko and Oshima. Huh? This place is... Mommy? Okay. The Enda household. I'm sorry. We're getting a divorce. What are we going to do then? I hate to ask you to do this. But you need to choose which of us you'd like to stay with. You want me to choose, like, right now? I'm sorry. It's all your daddy's fault. I wasn't making money. I caused trouble for your mother. I'm really sorry. Which is worse to lose? The father or mother? I love how it's till death do us part till the husband stops making money. And then it's like, fuck off, you're on your own. What? Which is worse to lose? The father or mother? I suppose she's asking you to answer the question like she had to. I chose to go with mom, but if I chose dad... I'm going with you, dad. You need my help, so I need to look after you. Thank you, Omame. I'm so glad to hear that. If I chose my dad, I wonder how my future would have been different. I'm going with Mom. Mom works really hard. She needs my help. That's true, isn't it? You need to take care of your mom. I love your comedy, Dad. I'm always on your side. Thank you. Daddy's gonna do his best. Just you watch. They just gave me that one for free. They knew I'm running out of time. She must feel guilt for her decision, but she did nothing wrong. I can understand that would bother her. What's next? You got a prize at a contest? <laughs> That's amazing, Shoma! It was always your dream to make a robot. Good job! Yeah. Thank you. It'll be a good memory. This might be my last time. Last time? Why? I used so much money to make that robot. Dad wanted a new outfit for work, but he's been putting it off. I can't be asking for stuff for my robots. I see. If I work after school and on weekends, I can make like a hundred thousand yen a month, maybe. A hundred thousand yen a month is a thousand bucks. With that money, I can buy robot parts and a new outfit for Dad. You're here for the interview, right? You want to work the night shift? Yes. I want to make a lot of money. How old are you? 
If you're in high school, I can't make you work late. Huh? Be truthful and be poor. Or lie and make money. Which would you choose? Another question. Well, she would lie. I lied in order to work. But if I didn't... To be fair, like... It's not like she took advantage of other people. She just basically lied and did more than what she was expected to do to help other people. There's a clear difference between doing it to help others without hurting other people, apart from yourself, and hurting other people to better yourself. I see. Okay. All the other jobs were too low paying, but I have some free time, so... I'll come home and eat dinner. If we cook at home, it would save money, right? You don't have to do that, but I think Dad would be happier about seeing you than the money. Oh, Amame. I didn't know you were here. Welcome home, Dad. If I saw my dad more, would I have noticed his problems? It's okay. I'm 20 years old. You look so young. Well, the more popular you are, the more you get paid, so good luck. Okay, thank you. Doesn't even ask for an ID. He obviously didn't give a shit. Oh, thank God they're giving me easy ones. Oh my God, they're just giving me free mental locks. I fucking need it. With the amount of time I used. She wanted to work, even if it meant lying about her age. No, she needed to work. She really cares about her family. Hmm? Oh, Amame. Sorry to call you so late. It's fine, I just finished work. Are you okay? What? I was watching that one show on my phone. Faith to Face. It got... pretty crazy. Right. That. Uh, I'm okay. I... did see half a corpse, but... You sound... upset. Should I come see you? You want me to be with you, right? That's why you called. N no! That's not it. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. You be careful too. It can be dangerous out there at night. I'm gonna go see Dad. I need to support him. Mommy, what should I do? I'm scared. Of course it's Iris. Iris always needs help. Iris is the giant help me please girl. Oh, Iris. You were there too, right? Yeah. I saw the dead body. So can we... Well, I mean, logically speaking, you would think an adult would be able to process a dead body better than a teenager and not get drunk and try to blackmail the serial killer for money. I mean, to be fair, I can't blame her for this decision. I mean, typically people aren't that stupid. But then again, we have been proven wrong time and time again. Can we meet right now? Now? Please? I want you to be here. I'm... I'm... What would you do if your best friend and your family asked for help at the same time? And you could only choose one. Well, you would have to compare who it is. I chose my best friend, but if I went to go see my dad... Iris, I'm really sorry, but I need to go see someone. He needs my help. I need to be there for him. Uh, okay, I'll be fine. I understand. You know the Kuma way would have just been to see both people? 
<laughs> like, the Kuma way. It's like, hey, you just saw a corpse, and you saw a corpse. Sweet! All three of us now have something in common! Let's gather over drinks. And food. Nothing like a corpse to make you hungry. I'm sorry to ask you for such a weird thing out of the blue. I can stay on the line, though. I'll be listening. <laughs> Mommy, thank you. If I went to see Dad, maybe he wouldn't have died. You honestly cannot blame yourself for that shit. It's like someone calling you out, and had you gone out, they might not have done something which caused their death. Okay, There's no I'll way right you can there. be blamed for that. Just as easily, by you going out, you could have caused their death. It, it is not fair to blame yourself in that type of scenario. It is completely out of your scope of control. Iris, where are you now? Thanks, Mommy. Look, Darwinism killed him. They're just giving me these for free. They're just giving me free mental locks, man. They're just giving them for free at this point. Thank God. Amame regrets this, too. Mommy. book. I don't want to read this. This world is only a simulation. You could have been saved by this truth, but oh well. I'm going to tell you what I told you in the basement again. I saw everything that you did. If you don't want me to reveal what I know, do as I say. So you took the book, hit her over head, the head while she was stunned, you grabbed the head, smashed it on the corner of the table, and then when she fell to the ground, you started curb stomping her as many times as you could. Gotcha! What are you going to make me do? On the night of the 12th, I will use the slicer to take my own life. Well, that was unexpected. What? No. Tokiko killed herself? Well, I mean, she is a religious nutcase. Afterward, I want you to take my right half to the president's office. Leave my body on the desk. Use the hidden elevator when coming here. I will explain how to use it later. I will tell you about the master key and access code. Why do I... That's not all. There is more I need you to do. You know what will happen if you decline, don't you? Which do you choose? Have your biggest secret spilled? Or be part of some dangerous plan? What even was your secret? You saw a corpse? I had to obey. I had to do what she said. I understand. I can't run from it. I need to do it. They're just really giving me these. And I was worried about time. Well, that was unexpected. I mean, technically it's not murder. It's not even assisted suicide. It's assisted body disposal. Actually, it's assisted putting a body on display. It's technically more like art. I mean, is it illegal to publicly display a body? It, it would, it, it's more likely displaying a body without a license, really. It, it, it probably comes with a $150 fine. Uru Somizuki! Yes, 
This world is an imperfect one. I was put through much hardship, but it's all a simulation after all. As long as I can reach Moksha, all will be well. Look, we all have our coping mechanisms. But, buddy, buddy, I, I mean, come on, the poor kid was kidnapped, his organs taken, he was tortured, I, I mean, like, I feel sorry for him. And then he was given a hokey religion, I mean, he's a victim. The teachings of Nyes are absolute, as is the prophecy. Hey, can I ask one thing? Yes. Are you really terror? <laughs> yes, I am. What of it? Do you remember what happened on February 13th, six years ago? Of course. I will never forget. That was the fateful day I met you. You were a witness to history. You are worthy to know our ideals. Yeah, find a guy that looks at you like this. Which is why I invited you here. No, you invited her here because you were thinking with your little brain and not your big brain. Enough about the past. Let's talk about the future. A ViewCube video will soon be made public. Nirvana X. At this point, you bashed him over the head with something. Many people will watch it. Those who see it will collect in a predetermined location. Why? The first step for all mankind to reach Moksha. I want to share the excitement with as many people as possible. At this important place, the intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. And the Nirvana Initiative will become reality. I know what he did. I saw what he did. He came to the studio with a corpse on a stretcher. <laughs> this is magnificent. Don't you think so? Why? 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 Why do you just laugh about it? The daughter of the man you killed is right here. Right in front of you. He killed my dad. Technically behind him. Over oh, some stupid teachings and prophecy. Hey, people have committed genocide for less. He ruined Shoma's life and mine. It's all his fault. All of it. Someone important was hurt in front of me. Make the person apologize or get revenge. Do not hesitate. Strike him down and your transformation to the dark side will be complete. Good. You. Good. Now make sure you do a big swing. Big. Like a big one. It's all your fault. Hada! Oh, come on. A single hit would not knock him out. Oh, so you made sure he was awake. I'm going to make you suffer the same pain. But what if you move? Well, it's poetic at least. <laughs> Regardless of the motive, Amame committed a serious crime. That cannot be overlooked. I know! But this is just too much. If she never got involved, it wouldn't have happened. Good luck getting a if court to convict the girl. If only she chose her father over her mother. If only she saw him more. He might still be alive. If she never ran into him again, 
if she didn't follow him. She may not have killed Uru. If that didn't happen, Tokiko wouldn't have used her. But there are no ifs in this world. You can agonize over it all you want, but you cannot go back and change your path. That is the truth of this existence. I chose this path! I had to choose this path! Of course I feel guilty! Of course I'm scared! But I did it! I did what was best for me! Good luck to... F I don't care if people attack me for it! Good luck finding a jury that would convict Mommy. him. Seriously. <laughs> it's statistically proven that the likelihood of a jury convicting a female perpetrator of the violent crime is lower than that of a male, even if it is first degree premeditated murder. She would get off with a slap on the wrist. She would probably get a psychiatric sentence where she has to go to a psychologist on a regular basis rather than go to jail. It, it, it's fact, and it's frozen, it looks like. I don't know what's going on. Finally! That is life. That is also privilege. Kuma, she lives in Japan. <laughs> well! Might be a little bit different in Japan. Japan is kind of a sexist society. She would probably get sentenced to having six children. End of craving. See, I'm craving food now. All this talk of murder makes me hungry. <laughs> and I ate before the stream. I'm starving now. Okay, can anyone honestly blame her? Pewter, you don't get to blame anybody. You shut up. <laughs> you don't get to blame shit. Mame, I think I understand. Uro Samazuki, Terror, was killed by you, Mame. And Tokiko wasn't killed. She set herself up on the slicer and took her own life. But I'm still not clear on some things. Will you talk to us? You know, like the fucking bomb that's gonna fire, like, the stuff in the atmosphere and make us all infected. Now, guys, I gotta ask seriously, how much time do we have till the ending? Because I, I need to be time conscious. What rank do you like? Lightweight, heavyweight, bantam weight, straw man weight. Heavyweight, god damn it. She teared terror apart. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. 90.72 kilograms or higher. Yes, 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 yes. That is the heavyweight division. If you keep going, you could actually beat the game to stream. But I'm asking how long? <laughs> I became an adult. Thanks for talking to me. Play for 10 more minutes, because after that, it's hard to stop, literally. Okay, we'll do this little part, and then we'll do the rest next stream. Because no one's telling me the amount of time. I'd say around one hour to 90 minutes. Ooh. 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 That is a compelling argument. Alright, let's see how we go after these 10 minutes. You make a compelling argument. Pewter! Uh... Amame's brainwaves are normal. There's nothing wrong with her. There's nothing wrong. Talk to Amame. 
Date. I know Amame is your friend. I understand that it's hard to interrogate her, but it's an important part of your job. You need to learn to set aside your emotions. Already ahead of you on that one, boss. Bibi! Don't worry about me. That was like the biggest plot dump here, Bibi. <clears throat> Why did you meet Uru? Why did Tokiko commit suicide? Why was Uru's left half at the stadium? Why did you meet Uru? Five days ago, on February 10th, I got a call from Uru, telling me he wanted to meet me at Horidori Institute. He called himself Terror. Six years ago, I met Terror at Studio Devita, so I knew it was him. Terror was the one who killed your father, Yonaharu Enda. So, you met him with the intention of killing him? Well, that explains why you didn't talk to the police. No, see, boss, see, you see what boss just did? This is why I don't talk to cops. So, you met him with the intention of killing him? Do you know what that is? So, you met him with the intention of killing him? That's premeditation right there. Saying yes to that in any capacity is premeditation. You need premeditation in order to get first degree murder. So, you met him with the intention of killing him? And then Date's like, I can infer that. Well, that explains why he didn't talk to the police. Never talk to cops. I don't know. I don't know what got into me. That can be interpreted as a confession. I knew I hated him, but... I don't think I wanted to kill him. I wanted to hear what he had to say. <laughs> I think he wanted to brag about his plan. He had a smug look on his face when he was explaining it to me. The Nirvana Initiative? But why you, Mame? Mizuki, do you remember Uru's diary? Friday 13th. Feb 13th. I met the person of my destiny. On that day, at the west door of Studio Devita, Uru cornered Amame. They were face to face, close enough to touch. It is possible that... Uru fixated on Amame. Bloody incel. Why did Tokiko commit suicide? I... I don't know. She didn't tell me. On February 10th, I knocked out Uru and put him on the slicing machine. After the machine stopped, I sensed someone behind me. Tokiko was standing there. She was all like, Oh yeah, that wasn't her son. Jin was already dead. Wait, that begs the question. Why the fuck was Jin dead? Why did Uru kill Jin? Fucking answer that shit. I saw, I saw everything. everything. Shall, Shall we make, we make a, deal? a deal? I will I'll give you some commands. And you, you will follow, follow them. them. Alright, Tokiko walks up to the cops. Hey guys, I just saw this teenager that works at a maid cafe go at a secret genetic research institute down in the basement with my serial killer son's... Um, organ harvesting who I kidnapped from a orphanage like 12 years ago and harvested his organs for my dead son. Anyway, to make a long story short, uh, she put him on a splicing machine to cut him in half um, and uh, he just so happens to be the serial killer of an unsolved murder case. You see how that falls apart? That entire blackmail scheme just fucking falls apart. It's like pieces of paper in boiling water. It just falls apart. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. Her first order was to move the right half of the body, Tokiko's body. It was on the night of the 12th that I moved her. I went to the basement of Horidori Institute and found Tokiko's body there, just like she told me. Lazy cops would just be like, Amame split someone in half? She must be terror. 
Yeah, that's exactly what cops. No, cops would shoot Tokiko as soon as she shows up to the cop station. They'd be like, ah, she's coming straight for us. Bang! She specified that I move the body to the president's office. She told me, put the right half of the body on the desk. And about how to get inside the room. She gave me the master key to the staircase as well. And how to use the hidden elevator up to the office. Ah, that was her. Why did you follow orders even though she was dead? Well... I've, I've documented, documented what you did, and gave it to one of my most trusted subordinates. If you stray from my commands even slightly, that evidence will be sent to the police. I see. It was probably a lie, but anyway. She didn't give me any orders about the left half, so I just left it on the slicer. I was curious, though. So I did take a look. <laughs> she just fucking left the corpse. She's like, well, I didn't receive orders, so I'm gonna just leave it there. <laughs> Amame, you would be great in corporate. It's like, why didn't you do anything about it? Well, no one fucking said to do anything about it. I was just following instructions. Or lack thereof. You left the door to the nuclear reactor open, Tsuka! Well, no one fucking told me to close it. Why was Ura's left half at the stadium? I carried it. I borrowed the robot Shoma made. The one with one wheel. Well, you didn't carry it. The robot fucking carried it. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? The fucking poor robot killed itself to carry the corpse. You didn't do jack shit. Tokiko ordered me to do it. And that's why I sent you the message on Nile Mizuki. Because Tokiko told me to. I sent the message from the phone she gave me. What about Uru's right half on the ritual platform at the cathedral? I didn't move the body. It was Tokiko. I don't know why she did that. I'm guessing she wanted to hide the right half of the body for some reason. What does all this mean? Tokiko forced Amame to send the message, so it would be Mizuki who found Uru's left half. And for an unknown reason. She hid the right half. Yeah, I'm gonna hide it, like, surrounded by concrete so nothing can decompose it. As opposed to burying it somewhere at an undisclosed location so the evidence is eliminated forever. That's my definition of hiding. Tokiko would be great at corporate. I don't get it. It's almost like she wanted to preserve the body. I committed a crime. A crime that I can never take back. I can't reflect, repent, or apologize. Nothing will fix what I did, no matter what my reasons were. I killed a human being. Well, you technically killed half a human being. He was missing half his organs. But... I couldn't forgive him for what he did. That man who killed my father, all for some plan. Technically, he killed your father for trying to blackmail him. What's that about anyway? Some stupid plan? That's why my father had to die. No, your father had to die so he couldn't contribute more of his stupid genes in the gene pool. I'm sorry to say it, but he did it to himself. I, I, I can't blame Terra on this one. Mame, I understand how you feel. But think about how Shoma and Geni are going to take this. I know. I know that. I know that they trusted me. I know that I betrayed them. Thinking about them hurts so much. My chest feels like it's going to explode. The guilt. And Komeiji too. I'm sure he didn't want you to avenge his death. <laughs> if I ever get murdered, I might just use my ghost and tell my people, AVENGE ME! AVENGE ME! You know, like that episode of Hamlet in The Simpsons? I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Everyone! I'm so sorry! I mean, if she does that in a western court, she's getting off scot-free. Ah, Justice. You truly are blind.
After she regained her composure, we asked Mama about the Nirvana initiative, but she told me what she saw in the Somnium was the full extent of what she knew. She had no information to add. It's almost 11, not much time left. We need to find where the plan is going to take place. Damn it, what do we do? Ooh. Average main story duration from this point on ignoring extra stuff you'll probably want to go through is two hours from reaction channels. Then we'll have to do it for next time. I think this was a good little, like, thing. We got a fair bit. I think we do it next time so we're not stretched for time. So we're not rushing. So we can, uh, it, we can discuss it and do all that good stuff. I don't want to really rush it. I want to take my time and enjoy it and soak it all in. I thought we'd be stuck doing like four or five more streams, but if the next one's possibly the finale, cool, I'm all for it and I'm looking forward to it. But, uh, <laughs> big sis Mizuki, that, that was nice. That was nicer than the whole time crisscrossing. BB is better than the big time crisscross. That, that's for sure. That's definitely for sure. So, overall, pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, I'm going to save the game. We're going to continue this next week. We're probably going to play it on Friday next week. I can't do tomorrow, which is Friday, because i got to do something else. Um, but yeah, next week we will do that. We will possibly just do like Bleach and Chainsaw Man on Friday, and then play AI Somnium Files. So we should be good. Um, plus side stuff and possibly meme stream. If we do memes, I'm going to have to do it as like a video, edit it out, and then upload it just because YouTube is very iffy with stuff. Sometimes it censors it, sometimes it copyright claims it, it creates all these other problems. But we'll definitely play the main story on live stream. There are not even many memes about it, so I probably need more for meme reacting. It doesn't really have to be a meme, it could just be like highlight videos or something other people posted, and it's not a requirement. It's more of a nice to have. So, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But look, overall, an entertaining game, especially after the first one. I enjoy the interactions with the characters, the jokes, and all the laughs. I'm here for that part. The murder mystery in the Somnium, yeah, it's good. It's entertaining, but I'm here for the characters. I love the characters to bits. Really good characters. And it's a really fun game. It, it, it really is. I, I really like it. I hope they continue with this stuff. Especially that rela relationships Date and Mizuki have. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. Alright, that being said, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. I'm having a blast. I will see you guys next week. Otherwise, I will see you on Twitch on Saturday for Homestuck. Sunday for Mass Effect 3 memes and reactions. We did finish the main story. Monday, we have Avatar Season 2 and Naruto Shippuden. And then Friday, we're going to end up having Bleach, Chainsaw Man, and AI Somnium Files. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Till then, Nijikuma out. Bye.